Chapter 1281 How Fucking Vicious Translator Born to be Long Chen's group of three had only just entered the channel when they collapsed on the ground and began to crazily pant. After consecutive intense battles, they were dog tired. The only difference was that they didn't have their tongues lolling out. Fuck. So addicting. And satisfying Bao Buping could barely breathe. But he still gave Long Chen a thumbs up through his panting. Even in that kind of situation, they had slain three soul transformation experts. This sense of accomplishment made him feel like he was about to start floating. When they returned to the heaven-splitting battle sect, he could brag for a lifetime. Who would dare to go against him? But after so many battles, especially that last one, they had used up all their energy and needed to rest. After an incense stick's worth of time, they slowly got up. Bao Buping said, It looks like our efficiency is dropping. The first time, we killed 13 of them before running. The second time we got six, and this time we only got three. Don't be so greedy. Those are soul transformation experts, not chickens. We only killed so many the first time because they were stupid and worked together with us. Otherwise, how could we have such terrifying battle accomplishments said Long Chen. Now that their opponents were prepared, the difficulty increased. That was only natural. Let's go. I want to see if we can kill more of those creatures again. Long Chen led them carefully forward once more. This time, he was particularly careful. The formation had already been completely broken, and they could leave at any time, but they still couldn't get too close to those terrifying existences. They had to have enough time to run away. But as they advanced, his expression became odd. He didn't sense any feeling of danger nor was he able to sense any of those creatures' auras. When they reached the spot where the formation had originally been, they saw that it had been completely abandoned. What was in front of them was merely some ruins and charred earth. Not a single one of this world's creatures could be seen. Where are they? Chang Hao stared blankly. Their shifts are over. Bao Buping also had a bewildered expression. Long Chen swept his gaze over the ruins and shook his head. TCH. There's nothing for us here. This world's creatures aren't stupid. They've decided to run. Clearly, just being beaten without being able to retaliate wasn't something these creatures wanted to continue. Unable to think of any way to strike back, they directly gave up and ignored them. Fuck. Seriously? How godless. They conned so many of the continent's experts during these years, but we only conned them a few times and they fled. No balls. Cursed Bao Buping. But thinking about it, that was easy to understand. With the Sovereign Blood Seal, they didn't dare to approach this place. Continuing to stay here was just being a target for Long Chen to attack. They didn't have any way to handle him, so they directly left. Long Chen's guess was that they hadn't truly retreated. They were probably secretly watching, and if the three of them really dared to go deeper, they would immediately seal their path of retreat. In truth, Long Chen didn't have any intention of charging back in again. It was just that he didn't have much choice but to come here over and over again because of what was happening on the other side. There was no way he would go deeper. Let's go. There's nothing to kill here, sighed Long Chen, turning to leave. Ah, the feeling of being unrivaled is so lonely. Bao Buping sighed as well, shaking his head. TCH, if Long Chen said that, it would be one thing. But the two of us aren't qualified. Chang Hao was speechless. Bao Buping turned red. If Long Chen hadn't been present, they would have never managed to survive coming to Devil Spirit Mountain. How could they be called unrivaled? As brothers, him being unrivaled represents that we are unrivaled as well. His qualifications are ours as well, declared Bao Buping unashamedly. Long Chen smiled. That's right. Between brothers, what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine. There's no need to make any distinctions. Chang Hao, you should learn from him. He, do you see? This is all our joint glory. Long Chen, what strategy do you have for our return this time? Asked Bao Buping. Long Chen shook his head. There's no strategy. Even these creatures have run. As for those fellows, there's probably nothing for us to do against them either. When Long Chen's group of three once more appeared outside the entrance, as expected, those soul transformation experts had retreated a great distance. Sneak attacking them wasn't possible. Furthermore, they had spread out in a circular formation. 
No matter which direction Long Chen went, they would seal his path of retreat. Now what asked Bao Buping upon seeing them hiding so far away? There was no way for their group to attack them now. What do you mean? Now what? We're in no rush. They're the ones in a rush. Speaking of which, I'm getting hungry. Let's first fill our bellies before fighting anymore. That battle just now was pretty tiring just like that. Right in front of a stone pillar, Long Chen took out a table, some delicacies, as well as a jug of wine. The three of them immediately began to eat and drink their fill. The smell of wine and food wafted over to those distant soul transformation experts. Seeing the three of them eat like nothing had happened, their eyes turned blue from anger. They had seen arrogance before, but never anything quite so arrogant. They were treating them, soul transformation experts, as nothing more than air. Hey, don't just look. Do you want to come over and eat? Long Chen grabbed a piece of meat and gulped down a mouthful of wine, waving at those soul transformation experts with his mouth full. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were truly hungry. The heaven-splitting battle sect's members were different from other cultivators. They needed a great deal of energy that came from food, not just spiritual yuan. Even if their spiritual yuan was full, an empty stomach would make their combat power drop a great deal. So eating was very important to them. These soul transformation experts' hair stood on end from anger as they saw themselves be treated as nothing by these three fellows who were stuffing their faces. They were like hedgehogs. If looks could kill, those three would have been killed hundreds of thousands of times over. Several of the experts almost charged over to kill the three of them, but they didn't dare to do so in the end. Who knew whether or not this was a trap? Perhaps they were intentionally infuriating them to bait them into coming over. In just this short time, they had been conned so many times. Even a pig would have learned its lesson. Thus, they didn't dare to approach. The more Long Chen's group of three ate, the more the others felt they were only trying to intentionally infuriate them. There was definitely some kind of sinister trap. We have to stay cool-headed. Don't fall for it, warned one of them quietly. None of them dared to be careless when it came to Long Chen any longer. He was an evil bastard. The three of them devoured their food. In an incense stick's worth of time, they were full. Wiping their mouths, they turned their attention to the battle in the sky. Right now, that battle had already reached its climax. Runes filled the sky, and flying figures could vaguely be seen shooting back and forth. Space was constantly twisting. Long Chen, it looks like the bosses are at a disadvantage, said Chang Hao worriedly. Although they hadn't reached that level. They could see that other than Boss Bao, the other bosses were finding it taxing to fight like this. That was because five of those Life Star experts were using ancestral items. Each of their attacks was incredibly powerful, making the bosses unable to fully block them. The seventh boss's sword already had several nicks in it from his opponent's ancestral item. Although the seventh boss's sword was a Peak King item and the material that had gone into it was extremely close to the ancestral item level. There was no way around this. It couldn't compare to an ancestral item that had been nourished for countless years. Even if these opponents couldn't use an ancestral item's full power, his sword was about to shatter. Worrying Bao Buping and Chang Hao suddenly, an explosive sound rang out, and the seventh boss's sword was no longer able to endure colliding with ancestral items. It split in two causing Bao Buping and Chang Hao's expressions to change. The heaven-splitting battle sect's members focused on using their huge swords. Losing them would be like a tiger losing its fangs. The seventh boss would very likely die in just a few more moves. Seventh boss, don't panic. The ancestral item has come. Long Chen suddenly let out a shout and threw a black object at the seventh boss. It was a black sword, one of the ancestral items he had obtained in Devil Spirit Mountain. But its quality was a bit inferior to Bao Buping and Chang Hao's weapons. When Long Chen had subdued it, because he had been forced to beat it fiercely with the pot, there was now a dent in it. Long Chen, Bao Buping and Chang Hao were both startled. That sword was something they had personally seen Long Chen submit. They were very clear on that sword's current state. It was basically half crippled right now. How could it be used by the seventh boss to fight? If a weapon had to be given to him he should have given them their current swords. After all, the swords they were currently wielding were wasted in their hands. 
but Long Chen had acted too fast for them to even say anything. The black sword was already flying through the air. Haha, <laughs> I'll help you keep this sword. Many thanks. One of the Life Star experts fighting the seventh boss suddenly used some unknown movement art to disappear. When he reappeared, he was right in front of that sword. He was so quick that others found it freakish. The seventh boss was infuriated to see this weapon land in the enemy's hands. He was just about to charge out when he heard Long Chen's voice. There's no need to thank me. Let it count as your funerary object explode boom. What shocked everyone was that the black sword exploded without any warning. The detonation of an ancestral item instantly devoured everything within a thousand miles. Space shattered, and the world turned dark as this energy spread like a tsunami. Despite being prepared, Long Chen's group of three still coughed up blood from that terrifying energy. As for the soul transformation experts, they weren't any better off. They tumbled back miserably, coughing up blood. The dark sky quickly recovered. They now saw that there was an empty space in the sky, and the life star expert that had been there had vanished. He had been killed. How fucking vicious. Seeing that empty space, all the soul transformation experts felt a chill. Cold sweat dripped off their backs. Chapter 1282 Blood Moon Devouring Sun Formation Translator Born to be the self-detonation of an ancestral item was practically apocalyptical. Even life star experts going all out wouldn't necessarily be able to block that power. As for that particular life star expert who had so happily grabbed it, he had never imagined it would explode. Without any defenses up, he was instantly blown out of existence, with even his Yuan spirit destroyed. The only thing left was a bead. That was a life star expert's life star bead. It was where all their essence gathered. But at this time, that life star bead turned dim and then turned to dust. When advancing to the life star realm, a person would create two life star beads. The old one represented all their comprehension before advancing. It represented their glory up to that point in time. If an ordinary soul transformation expert obtained this life star bead, they could use the comprehension within it to advance to the life star realm. If a person relied on a life star bead to advance, they would still be life star experts, but they would be called quasi life star. That was because such experts would never have their cultivation bases advance ever again after reaching the life star realm. They would have reached the peak of their life's cultivation. Only people who felt like they had reached their limit and despaired of ever advancing to the life star realm on their own would use a life star bead. The first one represented their past and they had to separate it completely from their body to condense a new life star bead. The second life star bead embodied their present. It represented a cultivator that had escaped the bindings of the past. It was like a nirvanic rebirth, and their mental realms would rapidly advance. When a person was born, they were like a pure white piece of paper. As they cultivated, images were painted onto the paper. Through the accumulation of time, the paper would become full to the point that nothing else could be added to it. So if you wanted to continue advancing, you needed a new blank piece of paper to imprint the things you wanted. This was something all life star experts needed to go through. As for when life star experts were about to die, their second, innate life star bead would protect their Yuan spirit so that their souls didn't dissipate. But that life star expert hadn't had any defenses up, so he was blown out of existence and not even his life star bead could protect him. As his soul was erased, the life star bead also dissipated. A generation's life star expert, someone on the level of a sect master, fell. How is that possible? How can Long Chen subdue an ancestral item? Cried someone. This was something fundamentally impossible. It had to be known that ancestral items were incredibly powerful. They were treasures left behind by powerful ancestors and needed a seal from those ancestors just to prevent them from attacking their new masters. Even a soul transformation expert wasn't able to subdue an ancestral item without a slave mark. In fact, they might even be killed by that ancestral item. Only life star experts were qualified to subdue them. Furthermore, sometimes even life star experts couldn't subdue the more powerful ancestral items. It would require several of them working together. The first thing that the blown-up life star expert had thought wasn't to subdue it, but to put it away to avoid disturbing its item spirit. 
It was because he hadn't tried to subdue it that he hadn't realized the difference between what he had imagined and reality. As a result, he lost his life. Little bastard, did I not beat you enough? Were you trying to con me? The seventh boss's face was green as he cursed. Just now, he had suffered an injury to force back his opponents and fly toward that ancestral item. But halfway there, it had exploded, and that terrifying power had blown him away and made him cough up blood. If he had been a bit faster, he'd probably be heavily injured. I said for you to not panic and that an ancestral item was coming. I meant it was coming to help. I never said I was giving it to you. But don't worry, I'll send you another one. Let's see if anyone tries to fight over it. After saying that, Long Chen grabbed Bao Buping's sword and threw it at the seventh boss. At the same time, he shouted, Quick, everyone should grab it. If you miss this chance, it won't come again. Bao Buping's sword flew through the air at the seventh boss in front of everyone's gazes. But none of these life star experts tried to go and grab it. Although they had clearly seen Long Chen take it from Bao Buping, they didn't dare. He had obviously done that intentionally as if saying look, this ancestral item isn't mine. It won't explode. Don't worry. Long Chen was too big of a conner. Of all the people that had died so far in this battle, none of them had been slain by the heaven-splitting battle sect's bosses. Instead, they had all been conned to death by Long Chen. Whether it was soul transformation experts or life star experts, they were now afraid of his conning. After all, they only had one life. Being conned out of their life meant that they really would have nothing else left. The seventh boss caught the sword. His expression was strange as he said, Brat, will it explode if I start fighting with it? There's no way to say for sure. But don't worry, even if it does explode, it will only explode when there are many people attacking you at the same time. If you die from the explosion, there will definitely be several life star experts following you. You won't have lost out at all, said Long Chen. Ha ha ha, good. Then little bastards, it's time to continue fighting laughed the seventh boss thunderously while launching a sudden attack full of vigor. It was like he wasn't afraid of dying at all. Sixth boss, you should take one as well. If anyone wants to try, they can come and try fighting over it. Long Chen grabbed Chang Hao's sword and tossed it to the sixth boss. The seventh boss and sixth boss were the weakest, and the sixth boss's sword had also become covered in cracks. It wouldn't last much longer. When Long Chen had taken Bao Buping's sword, the expression on Bao Buping's face hadn't been one of disappointment or sadness. Instead, it was a complicated expression. He both wished for there to be someone who tried to take and not to take it. Because if someone tried to, he was capable of doing the same thing as Long Chen and detonating it. Under the threat of the black pot, he had already placed a slave mark on the ancestral item. It was unable to resist his orders. In comparison to the blazing dragon cauldron which had managed to rebel against Dan Chu and Dan Tang, Bao Buping was currently the first generation master of the ancestral item. The blazing dragon cauldron had had a slave mark placed on it by its original owner, but then future generations of its owners had only been in charge of protecting that slave mark. But in truth, the power of the slave mark had already long since begun to decline. As first generation masters who placed a completely new slave mark instead of working around an old one, Long Chen and Bao Buping were both capable of detonating their ancestral items without them being able to resist. Bao Buping also longed to be able to kill a life star realm like Long Chen, but the price of showing off like that was extremely high, so he was conflicted. When his sword landed in the seventh boss's hand, he sighed in relief but also in disappointment. His emotions were very complicated. As for when Long Chen tossed out Chang Hao's sword, his expression was about the same as Bao Buping's. He could only stare, conflicted. Everyone present was a wily old fox. They all saw those complicated expressions. But in the end, the ancestral item wasn't stopped by anyone and safely landed in the sixth boss's hands. Gutless, Chang Hao sighed. In his eyes. Exchanging an ancestral item for the life of a life star expert was definitely worth it. When he bragged, he could confidently say that when he was only at the foundation forging realm, he had killed a life star expert. The detonation of an ancestral item had killed one of the 13 life star experts, and two ancestral items had joined in. 
Although the seventh boss and sixth boss weren't the masters of these ancestral items and were unable to bring out their power, they no longer had to worry about their weapons shattering, so their fighting became even more berserk and unrestrained. As a result, the boss's previous disadvantage was wiped out, but suppressing their opponents would still be very difficult. Long Chen, what is it? Bao Buping suddenly saw Long Chen frowning and looking around, his expression growing grave. We've probably landed in someone's trap. Long Chen's expression was somewhat gloomy now. A bad feeling rose in his heart. Buzz. Just at this moment, a blood-colored crescent moon appeared in the sky. When it shone, the entire world began to reek of blood. Boom. The blood moon detonated, transforming into millions of runes that covered heaven and earth. Everything within tens of thousands of miles was covered. Long Chen was startled, pulling Bao Buping and Chang Hao. He rushed straight toward the channel below the Sovereign Blood Seal. HMPH. It's already too late. Blood Moon Devouring Sun Formation. Or I suddenly. A burst of icy laughter rang out. Devoid of emotion. Following it. Heaven and Earth shook as a blood-colored barrier appeared. Everything around here was enveloped by a blood-colored formation. Long Chen. Bao Buping. And Chang Hao slammed into the barrier and rebounded. Feeling their blood and chi flipping inside them. They coughed up a mouthful of blood. They had just been a bit away from being able to enter the entrance to Devil Spirit Mountain. But now this blood-colored barrier had enveloped everyone here. Long Chen's heart shook. Looking into the sky, he found that he wasn't even able to see the clouds any longer. The formation had turned everything blood-colored. It was full of the air of blood and death. The corrupt path. Long Chen's heart pounded hard. This kind of technique was something only the corrupt path would use. This formation was created by the essence blood of experts. It was extremely terrifying. This sudden change caught everyone off guard. They all stopped fighting. The seven bosses landed in front of Long Chen's group of three, protecting them. Boss Bao gravely said, Now it might be troublesome. Bao Buping and Chang Hao's hearts immediately sank to the bottom of the valley. Even the always valiant Boss Bao said that it would be troublesome. It seemed this formation was something even Boss Bao was helpless against. On the other side, the Life Star experts led by Dan Shen all had shocked expressions. The Righteous Paths experts were especially worried. I am Dan Shang, Pill Valley's 36th Elder. May I ask whatever person from the corrupt path has come to show themselves asked Dan Shen loudly. Although the Righteous Path and Corrupt Path were like water and fire, Pill Valley was neutral, and did not participate in their battles. Although this was unexpected, he still wasn't afraid. Buzz. The huge formation shook slightly, and countless blood-colored runes lit up. They formed figure after figure. Those figures fell from the top of the formation. They seemed like calabashes falling from the sky. They were a bit comical, but no one dared to laugh. Because when the calabash-like runes faded, they revealed one powerful expert after another. When they saw tens of thousands of experts wearing the corrupt path's robes, even the seven bosses' expressions changed. Chapter 1283 Red-Haired Man Translator Born to be the formation created a huge blood-colored barrier that trapped them all. A murderous aura filled the formation. There was a strong air of death. As calabashes formed of blood-colored runes fell from the sky one by one, it made the entire formation seem like some kind of growth that was bearing fruit. When the runes slowly dissipated from the calabashes, they revealed corrupt experts wearing blood-red robes with images of fiendish faces on their chests. Everyone here sucked in a cold gasp of air upon seeing this. There were actually tens of thousands of corrupt experts. They stood in the air, looking like blood-colored clouds. Shockingly, 18 elders were standing at the front. They were all life star experts, and behind them were over 500 soul transformation experts. Other than those people, there was a huge crowd of foundation forging disciples. These disciples didn't look very old, but their cultivation bases were extremely condensed. They were elites amongst the foundation forging realm. Several of them had such powerful auras that they could be powerful rank 8 celestials. The thing that shocked Long Chen the most was that amongst the foundation forging disciples, a certain disciple stood at the very front. He was like the bright moon amongst dim stars. He was a slender, handsome man, but his face was pale as paper. 
Most eye-attracting of all was his red-colored hair. The contrast between the blood-like hair and his pale face made him look even more conspicuous. Standing in the air, he looked down at Long Chen expressionlessly. But Long Chen could sense dense killing intent in his eyes. The righteous and corrupt paths could not coexist. The enmity between both sides was something that couldn't be washed away even with all the martial heaven continent's water. For him to form killing intent toward Long Chen was simply natural. But Long Chen felt like he could see another kind of emotion in his eyes. He didn't know if it was a misperception. But it felt like envy. Haha. <laughs> Xuan Jizi truly is worthy of being someone from Heavenly Fate Island. Other than Long Chen. He actually allowed us to catch so many other big fish. It was worth it to mobilize such a huge force. The lead corrupt life star expert laughed. His voice like blade stabbing through everyone's ears. This elder was withered and tiny like a dwarf. Pockmarks covered his whole face. His eyes were sunken. And his nose protruded out like a beak. It was an extremely frightening appearance. This old ghost is very powerful. Be careful. Bao Buping sent a message to his side. Although there were multiple life star experts present. This dwarf gave him the most terrifying feeling of danger. Long Chen was deeply shaken as well as infuriated. The Grand Han had received a heavy blow by that formation master called Xia Chen. But the Heavenly Fate Pavilion hadn't been harmed at all. Despite that, that bastard had once more schemed against him. The corrupt path had clearly been willing to pay any price to kill him this time. They had actually mobilized this many people and even set up this blood moon devouring sun formation. Causing all of them to despair right at the start. 18 life star experts, over 500 soul transformation experts, and tens of thousands of foundation forging disciples. The power difference was stark. Long Chen saw each of these disciples holding a blood-colored jade tile. Most likely, those tiles were connected to this formation. The blood moon devouring sun formation must have required their collective power to form, or they wouldn't have brought so many disciples. A formation created by tens of thousands of people. Anyone with a head would know that this blood moon devouring sun formation had to be terrifying. Fuck. They really look too highly on me. Cursed Long Chen inside. They had actually mobilized tens of thousands of experts to capture him. Was there a need to be so exaggerated? As soon as these corrupt experts appeared, they crushed both sides. With everyone trapped within the blood moon devouring sun formation. They were like absolute rulers. The dwarf from the corrupt path glanced at Dan Sheng and hesitated. The pill tower and ancient races people can leave. The corrupt path was vicious. And they were like water and fire with the righteous path. When it came to them, in the end, one side would have to die. But the pill tower and ancient races were neutral powers. The corrupt path didn't want to have so many powerful enemies. Especially not the pill tower. Dan Sheng frowned. He could ignore the others, but Long Chen had shocking secrets on him, and he had to find those. Long Chen is someone my Pill Valley must obtain. I can't he was using the name of Pill Valley to suppress the corrupt path and take back Long Chen. The corrupt expert's expression sank. Long Chen must be killed by my corrupt path. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains, he has caused heavy losses for us. Furthermore, in order to kill him this time. We even paid the price to summon the blood moon devouring sun formation and sent this many people. Do you feel like we'd possibly let you take him away? His voice was ice cold. And he was clearly angry. He felt like Dan Shen didn't know to appreciate his kindness. The reason the corrupt path had mobilized so many people without caring about the rest of the world laughing at them was just to have a 100% chance of capturing Long Chen. Ever since the first righteous and corrupt battle in the eastern wasteland, Long Chen had been put on the corrupt path's must-kill list. But each time they made any moves to kill him, the plans were ruined and they took losses. Not only did they fail to kill Long Chen, but they actually allowed him to kill his way to the central plains. The eastern wasteland's corrupt path was even almost annihilated to the last man. This was the greatest humiliation in the corrupt path's history. From the Eastern Wasteland's Corrupt Path's Must Kill list, Long Chen went directly to the Central Plains Corrupt Path's Must Kill list. Then, in the battle over the Eastern Sea, due to Li Xiangxuan's arrangements, one of their life star experts had even been captured alive. 
that had completely infuriated the corrupt path's higher ups. Right now, Long Chen was a thorn in the corrupt path's side. To make sure Long Chen didn't have any chance of escaping this time, they had even used the Blood Moon Devouring Sun formation. Long Chen's growth was something the corrupt path had foreseen from the start. They definitely couldn't allow him to continue growing. His potential was too terrifying. Furthermore, in the past few years in the Central Plains, Long Chen's display had truly shocked the corrupt path. It wasn't just Long Chen. What shocked them was how Long Chen led the Dragonblood Legion to rise with him. Back in the Eastern Wasteland, this group had only contained 300-some members. Now they had grown to over 13,000. It was unknown what method Long Chen had used, but he was actually able to continuously upgrade their celestial ranks. That was a secret the corrupt path longed to obtain. So Dan Sheng's attempt at using Pill Valley's name to intimidate the corrupt path showed that he clearly underestimated their determination. Long Chen is a criminal suspected to be a heaven Caesar. Pill Valley had been implored by many sects to investigate this matter. If you do this, how will my Pill Valley continue with its long-standing dignity rage Dan Shang? Although the corrupt path was famed for its viciousness, Pill Valley wasn't afraid of them. Instead, it was the corrupt path that was afraid of Pill Valley. If Pill Valley cut off their supply of medicinal pills to the corrupt path, they would sooner or later decline. HMPH, you think you can represent Pill Valley's higher ops? I'm sure everyone here has their own understanding of whether or not Long Chen is a heaven Caesar. Is there a point in uttering such a bald-faced lie? Only the righteous path idiots like to play such games. If you get greedy for someone's treasures, just directly take them. What's the point of making such excuses that even children wouldn't believe? My corrupt path always disdains such things. Today, let me say it clearly for you. Long Chen must be brought away by me. If you dare to block me, don't blame me for not being courteous. This blood moon devouring sun formation is something formed from the essence blood of 36 of the righteous path's life star experts and millions of their souls. It is capable of both defense and offense. As long as I will it, you will immediately turn to dust, sneered the dwarf, his tone growing more and more impolite as he spoke, causing Dan Sheng's expression to sink. The ancient race experts that had come along didn't dare to make a sound. They didn't have any dealings with the corrupt path. Both sides simply minded their business. But if these few experts provoked them, then the corrupt path wouldn't mind killing them. After all, they weren't from Pill Valley. The corrupt path didn't depend on them for anything. After the dwarf finished speaking, the other corrupt experts also sneered, infuriating Dan Shang. It seemed he had come for nothing. These friends I brought along must be allowed to leave as well. Just treat it as giving me face. Dan Shen took a deep breath and calmed himself down as much as possible. Right now, he had no bargaining chips to use against the corrupt path. After all, right now, everything was in their control. This blood moon devouring sun formation might not have shown any of its power yet, but anyone with a brain could tell that it was extremely terrifying. Otherwise, it wouldn't require so many people to maintain. Dan Shen didn't suspect the corrupt dwarf's words at all. The latter could kill the former with just a thought. Although Dan Shen was sure that he wouldn't dare to kill him, if the dwarf used that power to completely suppress him, he would lose his dignity. It was better to be smart and save himself that face. Sorry, but you don't have that much face. The corrupt dwarf shook his head. You. Dan Shen was infuriated by this. It had to be known that these people had come to help him in order to suck up to Pill Valley. If he allowed them to be killed, wouldn't their sects lose their faith in him? Of the life star experts that had come with Dan Shang, other than the ancient races, those from the righteous path had come purely to suck up to Pill Valley. If they were slain, it would be a blow to Pill Valley's prestige. Listen well, I've already conceded when it comes to Long Chen. I must be allowed to bring these people away demanded Dan Shang. Looks like you can't understand my words. Then let me see if I can use something that you'll understand. The corrupt dwarf smiled icily. When his already twisted face smiled like this, he appeared as sinister as a ghost. Buzz. He formed hand seals, and the entire formation shook. Countless runes lit up. Chapter 1284 GUI Yan Translator
born to be following the hand seals of the dwarf from the corrupt path. The blood-colored formation shook, and it was like blood was flowing within it. Baleful chi surged out, causing everyone to feel a chill. Suddenly, a blood-colored hand stretched out of the formation and slammed toward Dan Shen's group. How brazen! Dan Shen was infuriated that they would dare to attack him. They were ignoring Pill Valley's might. Seeing this mountain-like hand smashing toward him, Dan Shen summoned his flame giant once more. A flame blade appeared in its hand, and it slashed at the blood-colored hand. Bang! Shockingly, Dan Shen's terrifying flame giant was instantly blown apart. Thirty-six figures appeared within the hand. They were crazily struggling within it, letting out ear-piercing wails that gave others goosebumps. Those are thirty-six life star experts from the righteous path. After being refined into the blood moon devouring sun formation, their anguish and resentment from before they died was imprinted into the formation. This attack is equivalent to the attack of 36 life star experts. Tell me, just how are you supposed to block me? Sneered the dwarf. Seeing this hand smashing toward them, the other life star experts brought along by Dan Shen went all out attacking it, but their attacks all blew up upon contact. They were powerless to stop it. Horrified, they hastily fled, but they suddenly found that they couldn't move. At some unknown time, the ground beneath them had turned scarlet. There was some kind of energy keeping them stuck to the ground. Bang! The hand slammed down. It was like it had landed amongst a group of ants. Dan Shen and the others were unable to resist. Once the hand caught them, it transformed into countless chains that bound them. Dan Shen and others' expressions changed. They found that these chains had some special energy that had sealed their cultivation basis. Are you trying to become enemies with my Pill Valley? Roared Dan Shang. We have no intention of becoming enemies with Pill Valley. But that doesn't represent that the corrupt path must submit to Pill Valley all the time. That's why you should shut your mouth for now. If you keep being irritating, I might not be able to hold myself back from getting rid of you. After saying that. A chain tightly bound Dan Shen's mouth. Dan Shen was infuriated, but he could no longer speak. Suddenly, seven explosive sounds rang out, and seven chains pierced through the middle of seven life star experts' heads. Those life star experts shook intensely as they struggled painfully, but with their bodies bound, they could only struggle in pain. What shocked Long Chen and the others was that these chains seemed to be sucking something out of the seven life star experts. Long Chen's gaze was icy. These life star experts had ignored right or wrong to suck up to the pill tower. They had brought about their own demise. So their deaths didn't make him feel any sympathy. But for the corrupt path to be killing them in this manner, they were clearly humiliating the righteous path to increase their own intimidating reputation. Back when Long Chen had first heard that the righteous path captured the corrupt path's experts and tortured them by grinding their skulls to powder and mixing it with mud to form walls as symbols of their achievement, he had felt a bit unnatural. But now he realized that these people from the corrupt path weren't even human. They were cold-blooded broods. They had to be torn apart piece by piece, or there would be no way to resolve the hatred in people's hearts. In just a moment. The aura of life from those seven righteous life star experts vanished, and the chains pulled out of their heads, leaving behind seven large holes. Their bodies were nothing more than lifeless husks now. The dwarf waved his hand and gathered those corpses. He, the material for seven life star puppets. My gains aren't bad this time, he laughed. As for the subordinates, they're useless. So, time for you to die. The corrupt dwarf glanced at the righteous path soul transformation experts. They immediately turned stiff. Several of the righteous path's experts actually knelt down and begged. Please, don't kill me. I'm willing to join the corrupt path. I'm willing to be used as a tool by the corrupt path. Just die. Trash like you isn't fit to join the corrupt path. The dwarf waved his hand, and red chains shot out from the sky at these soul transformation experts. They despaired. Some tried to flee, some gritted their teeth and prepared to resist. There were also some who directly gave up and stood there like a dead dog. Even life star experts couldn't resist in front of the blood moon devouring sun formation. So these little soul transformation experts were just ants. They didn't even have the bravery to resist. In front of death, these usually bold and powerful experts all showed their cowardice and terror. 
as well as their longing toward life. But in front of absolute power, they didn't have any choice. The chains fell. Those who tried to resist were directly blown to bloody mist. Their weapons shattered. Whether they tried to resist, run, or just lay on the ground in defeat, they were all slain. Their unwilling screams still hung in the air as they vanished from the world. However, there were over ten of them that didn't die. They were still bound in chains and hung in the air. They had already fallen unconscious. These people were from Pill Valley and the ancient races. The corrupt expert didn't kill them. But as a show of power, he completely bound them. Dan Sheng and the remaining five life star experts from the ancient races were also dangling in the air as prisoners. They were terrified. If the corrupt path wanted to kill them, it would be as easy as turning a hand. They finally experienced the terror of the blood moon devouring sun formation. When the wails and screams faded, everything within the formation became deathly silent. Now, it was Long Chen's group of ten people facing tens of thousands of corrupt experts. The heaven-splitting battle sect used to have so many powerful existences. It's too bad that they declined to such a point and even needed their soul transformation experts to win face for their sect what a shame. The dwarf shook his head with a pitiful expression at the bosses. HMPH, don't act so fake. If the seven of us had advanced to the life star realm, do you think this little formation would be able to stop us? Boss boss sneered. Now that things had reached this point, the bosses became calm. There was no way they could run. Thus, the only thing to worry about was whether or not they could drag a few corrupt experts down with them before dying. The only thing that they felt regretful about was that they had no way to send out Long Chen, Bao Buping, and Chang Hao. For such talented geniuses to fall so early made them sigh. But they were all hot-blooded men. Even in the face of death, their expressions were calm. They didn't spout any nonsense. The dwarf ignored Boss Bao. Instead, he turned toward Long Chen. He suddenly spoke to someone behind him. Gui Yan. What do you think about this little fellow? That young disciple with the red hair slowly walked forward. It went without saying that when compared to the fierce and sinister appearances of the corrupt path, this person was an especially handsome existence. This red-haired Gui Yan looked at Long Chen and shook his head. I suppose he's all right, but he's very different from what I imagined. It's disappointing. I really doubt that he's the fellow Len Yu was talking about. How could he be so weak? He can't even last 10 exchanges against me. Boss Bao and the other's pupil shrank slightly. Through their sharp eyesight, they instantly saw through his true power. He was a rank 9 celestial. Long Chen was even more shocked than them. That wasn't because of his cultivation base or celestial rank. It was because of that name he mentioned. You know Len Yuian? Asked Long Chen. Ji Yuian smiled faintly. But that smile was not very natural, because when he smiled, his face split open and blood flowed out. That was a terrifying injury. It was like a horizontal line that stretched across his whole face where his mouth was. This smile of his instantly revealed all his teeth. This injury looked like it had been caused by a sharp blade. If that blade had pressed forward anymore, Gui Yan's head would have been severed at his mouth. Gui Yan put away his smile and wiped away that blood. The injury on his face also instantly healed. This injury was caused by Len Yuian. She said my smile was very ugly. So she left behind this injury. Now, whenever I smile, the injury instantly splits open. It has been a long time since I smiled. But seeing you today, I couldn't help it. Gui Yan looked at Long Chen with rancor. Long Chen's heart shook. Just what realm had Len Yuian reached? She was actually so domineering as to torment such a powerful person. When Gui Yan had smiled, Long Chen had sensed an extremely bizarre energy cut across his skin. The image of a perfectly beautiful face appeared in his mind. Those ocean blue eyes were like gems. Next time we meet, I will take your life. Be careful. This was something Len Yuan Yan had said to him in the immemorial path. Now seeing this terrifying injury, Long Chen felt a chill. That Demonis had probably completely broken through any of her old limits. Gui Yan looked at Long Chen icily. Just because I smiled at her once, she attacked me, saying my smile was ugly. She said that if I could smile as brilliantly and wretchedly as you, I could come smile at her again. Otherwise, 
she would cut off my head. So I was very curious as to what kind of person you were. Did you have three heads and six arms? Just how outstanding were you? But now that I see you, I see you're just trash. Gui Yan's eyes almost had flames spurting out of them. Long Chen realized something and suddenly laughed. Chapter 1285 Breaking the Formation Translator Born to be Long Chen suddenly laughed as if he had encountered some supremely funny thing. With death at hand, you can still laugh? Hopefully you can still laugh once I refine you into a puppet, said Gui Yan icily. After laughing for a while, Long Chen finally said, I know that you definitely tried to take some liberties with Len Yuan for her to attack you. Not bad, not bad. That girl Len Yuan is truly beautiful. I was never able to view her as a woman, but you're much stronger than me. You actually dare to dally with her. He, admirable Long Chen had to admit that Len Yuan's beauty could shake a person to their core. With just her beauty, she could probably make a person die from enthrallment. But that murderous and baleful aura within her was something that people didn't dare to get close to. She was like a beautiful fiend. Getting close to her would make you lose your life. No matter how beautiful she was, it was impossible to view her as a woman. Because the only thing she gave off was boundless killing intent. If you were to liken women to flowers, then Len Yuan was a beautiful man-eating flower. Even now, you can still be sarcastic? HMPH. Once I turn you into a puppet, I'll bring you in front of Len Yuan and see what she says, sneered Ji Yuai Yan with a bit of hatred in his eyes. You should just give up. Do you think you can seduce Len Yuan with your kind of conduct? If she can cut your mouth with her first attack, she'll definitely exterminate you with her second attack. Next time, she'll kill you like killing a chicken. You should stop being so cocky. Len Yuan isn't someone you can have any delusions about. Long Chen smiled coldly. He felt the slightest bit of hope within these desperate straits. From some details, he could see that while that dwarf elder was the person with the highest authority here, he was vaguely fawning over Gui Yan when they spoke. Although his cultivation base was the highest, it seemed Gui Yan's status was particularly special. Long Chen had a skillful grasp over other people's emotions. He could tell that this Gui Yan was probably someone with an extremely high status in the corrupt path. If he captured him, perhaps he could use him as a protective talisman to threaten the corrupt path into letting them go. As for carrying out that plan, Long Chen didn't have any assurance, but right now it was his only hope. Although Long Chen was scoffing at Gui Yan right now, in truth, his heart was unsteady. After all, that was a rank 9 celestial. Although the previous assassin from the Blood Kill Hall was also a rank 9 celestial, Long Chen had only seen a fraction of his power. Yet even so, the power that the assassin had displayed still shocked him. A rank 9 celestial had to be a terrifying existence. If it was an all-out fight, he wouldn't be afraid. But wanting to capture a rank 9 celestial alive was extremely difficult. But the more difficult it was, the more challenging it was the more Long Chen liked doing it. He intentionally mocked Gui Yan, and due to the envy Gui Yan already had in his heart, his killing intent immediately began to soar. The first time Gui Yan had seen Len Yuan, he had been attracted by her peerless beauty. He viewed himself as exceptionally handsome, as a dragon amongst men in the corrupt path. Thus, he had taken the initiative to flirt with her. As a result, Len Yuan had directly replied with her bone sword, leaving behind an injury that would never heal in his lifetime. That was extremely humiliating. This injury contained Len Yuan's specific mark. Unless she died, the mark wouldn't disappear. In other words, each time Gui Yan smiled, his injury would split open and make him appear frightening. To a handsome expert, that was especially intolerable. Now being mocked by Long Chen. He didn't need Long Chen to put in any more effort. Gui Yan's aura began to rise. Long Chen, I won't let you die. I'll make you live a life worse than death. Gui Yan's voice came from between the cracks of his teeth. His hatred for Long Chen had reached a peak. Long Chen smiled inside. The corrupt path's people were truly easy to infuriate. It seemed the injury Len Yuan had left on him would now be paid back to Long Chen. But Long Chen didn't get angry about that. Instead, 
He was thankful to Len Yuian. She had allowed him to turn this hatred into a chance to escape. Ji Yuian, hold on a moment. This isn't the place to have a fair battle. If you want to fight against Long Chen, you should wait until we get back. First, let's extract these people's souls and leave their bodies to be refined into puppets, said the dwarf. No, I can't wait. It's not like we're in a rush. I can definitely kill him within 10 exchanges. No, just three will be enough. Ji Yuai Yan ignored the elder's words. He slowly walked forward, glaring at Long Chen. Ji Yuai Yan, this isn't corrupt King Mountain. You have to listen to me here. The dwarf's expression sank. He had clearly been angered. Seeing this anger, Ji Yuai Yan hesitated and didn't continue forward. He had to restrain himself a bit in front of this dwarf. Seeing Ji Yuai Yan actually stop, Long Chen cursed inside. If Ji Yuai Yan refused to fight him, he would have no chance to escape the calamity. After bragging to the point that you shook the heavens, you still ran away. Ha! Huh? If Len Yuai Yan could cut you with her sword, then I can crush you like crushing a dog. What's the point of bragging so much? To say you could defeat me in just three moves. Are you trying to make it obvious that you're just bragging? Just bragging won't bring you any glory. It's not that I want to look down on you, but I really do look down on you, sneered Long Chen. You're asking for it. Ji Yuai Yan roared, his aura completely erupting. He had just been about to charge forward when the dwarf caught hold of him. Looking at Long Chen, the dwarf sneered. Brat, when it comes to scheming, your skill is still lacking. Such a little trick is useless against me. Clearly, he had seen through Long Chen's intentions. He wasn't worried about Long Chen defeating Ji Yuai Yan, as that was impossible. But he didn't want to waste any more time. The longer things went on, the more likely something unexpected would occur. That would be troublesome. After all, this was the territory of the righteous path. Hearing this, Long Chen's expression changed. This was clearly a wily old fox who wouldn't allow the slightest careless thing. Child, don't be afraid. People die sooner or later. With all of us on the road to the Yellow Springs, we'll have plenty to say and laugh about. What's there to be unhappy about? Boss Bao patted Long Chen on the shoulder comfortingly. After all, the three of them were still young, while the bosses had been living for centuries. They had long since stopped feeling so much fear toward death. But if these bosses knew Bao Buping had memorized the heaven-splitting divine tablet's inheritance and message, they wouldn't be able to stay so calm. Damn it, I can't die yet. I have so many beauties and hot-blooded brothers waiting for me. Long Chen looked at the blood-colored dome in the sky. The terrifying pressure being emitted from the blood moon devouring sun formation told him that even if he was a hundred times stronger, he wouldn't be able to break this formation. Long Chen sighed inside. He was unwilling, but this was an indisputable fact. He really was about to die here. Buzz. Suddenly, the formation quivered intensely, and countless chains shot over at Long Chen's side like sinister serpents. Sorry. Our time is precious. We need to leave quickly. The dwarf smiled cruelly at them. The sight of people struggling right before their deaths was his favorite scene. Long Chen took out the pot and prepared to give it to Boss Bao. Boss Bao was the strongest here, and giving him the pot gave them the greatest chance of getting out of this formation. But that hope was so remote that it was almost non-existent. That was because there wasn't just a grand formation trapping them. There was also that terrifying dwarf. He definitely wouldn't allow Boss Bao to break the formation. No matter what they did, there was no chance. Just as Long Chen was preparing to send a message to Boss Bao, a familiar voice rang out from the sky that caused Long Chen's heart to pound. Since your time is precious, there's no need to leave. My Zhuanchen Dao sect is large enough for its precious guests to stay behind. Long Chen felt like flowers were blooming in his heart. This voice belonged to the Zhuanchen Dao sect's Xuan master, Li Xiangxuan. Hearing that voice, the dwarf's expression immediately changed. Boom. The huge barrier above them shattered, a large hole appearing on it. A 30,000 meter thick beam of light shot down. Completely by chance, the light went right through where those experts from the Pill Tower and ancient races were currently bound, and instantly blew them to dust. The light beam continued toward the dwarf. Its terrifying power caused the world to shake. 
It's the reincarnation mirror the dwarf let out a startled cry. A small skeleton suddenly appeared in his hand. It was only the size of a fist and looked to be a human skull. There were blood-colored marks on the skull that emitted an evil air. The skull rapidly grew until it was 3,000 meters. On the skull's forehead, a blood-colored light condensed and shot out at the light beam. Buzz. When the two rays of energy collided, heaven and earth fiercely shook. The huge blood moon devouring sun formation was blown to pieces. The blood color that filled the world faded, returning the world to its original color. Long Chen and the others were blown far into the distance. Only once he managed to stabilize himself did Long Chen get a chance to see what was happening clearly. Up in the sky was an ancient mirror emitting boundless divine might. It covered the sky, and as it revolved, runes shook heaven and earth, charging through the beam of light to attack the skull. Long Chen recognized this ancient mirror to be one of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's divine items, the reincarnation mirror. In front of that sacred mirror was a person forming hand seals, his long hair billowing back. That person always had a faint smile as if everything was within his control. Good child, your ability to cause trouble grows greater and greater. Even I am almost unable to handle it. The Xuan master smiled at Long Chen. His voice was full of praise. Boss. We've come. Following that, a sharp cry rang out, and a mass of figures flew out of the reincarnation mirror. Chapter 1286 The Dragonblood Legion Descends Translator Born to be the first person to charge out was Guo Ran. Following his cry, the rest of the Dragonblood Legion also flew out. Meng Qi, Tang Wanur, Wild, Yu Zifeng, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi. Familiar figures flew out one by one. Other than the Dragonblood Legion's experts, there was also Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Wang Zhen, and even the previous generation's experts. Mu Qingxuan and Su Mo these people were all the greatest elites of the Zhuanshan Dao sect each of them had fervent expressions in their eyes. That was because after their parting in the Eastern Sea, the stories of what Long Chen had done in the outside world had made their blood boil. In the Four Nations ancient remnant, he had fought against experts from various powers, ruining the Pill Tower's sinister scheme. Then he had slaughtered his way out of Grand Shia City, completely looking down on the ancient race's experts like they were nothing. The Dragonblood Legion was especially full of passion. Boss, we can finally fight alongside each other again. The Dragonblood Legion let out a heaven-shaking roar. Their voices contained boundless battle intent. They were now a terrifying legion whose sharpness could pierce through the world. Hearing their roar, Long Chen felt his own blood igniting. Although there was no wind, his clothes began to flutter. A powerful energy was rising within him, forming a resonance with the Dragonblood Legion's battle intent. This was a resonance between hot-blooded brothers, a connection that could only be formed through countless life and death battles together. When did the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples become this strong? Boss Bao couldn't help being surprised upon seeing these Dragonblood warriors unleashing overflowing battle intent. Long Chen, from amongst the Dragonblood Legion's experts, a beautiful figure suddenly passed everyone else and shot over. A burst of fragrance washed over Long Chen. It was Tang Wanur. Tang Wanur was currently red in the face, and although she did her best to suppress them, she couldn't stop her tears from streaming down. Even when she called out Long Chen's name, her voice had started to choke up. Long Chen held her tightly. He understood Tang Wan'er the best. This girl was extremely obstinate, and she also didn't like to lose face. For her true emotions to pour out here regardless of the situation, it was clear how worried she had been for him. It made him feel both warm and ashamed. Sorry, I made you worry. Long Chen gently wiped away her tears. Scoundrel, did you completely forget about us? Or have you been spreading your plague to women in the outside world? Tang Wan'er beat him on the chest a few times. How could that be possible? The heaven-splitting battle sect only has hot-blooded men. There were no women, said Long Chen awkwardly. This girl's jealous nature hadn't changed one bit. At this time, Meng Qi also arrived beside him. Looking at Long Chen, her eyes were slightly red. She opened her mouth, but she was unable to say anything. The emotion in her eyes caused Long Chen to feel a burst of pain. He also didn't say anything. Releasing Tang Wan'er, he also gave Meng Qi a deep embrace. He truly owed them far too much. 
Brother Long, Wilde's body hadn't changed, but now his face had some faint red lines on it that were a bit frightening. Seeing Long Chen again, Wilde's eyes turned red from emotion. Good brother, I'm fine. Let's talk later. Long Chen patted Wilde's arm. Long Chen had a special emotion for this simple-minded brother of his. Boss, I also want a hug. Guo Ran suddenly spread his arms just like Tang Wan Er had and rushed forward. Scram, brat, what is there to hug about between brothers? Said Long Chen. Right now, the situation was still too tense. Li Xiangxuan was facing the dwarf from the corrupt path, and both of them were using divine items. Long Chen only had time to nod toward the others. Now wasn't the time to catch up. A merciless and bloody battle was about to happen. Long Chen gave a simple introduction for Bao Buping and Chang Hao before they all silently stared up at the sky. Li Xiangxuan's sudden arrival gave them a sense of safety. He had broken the corrupt path's blood moon devouring sun formation and forced the corrupt experts back. With the reincarnation mirror behind him, his eyes were completely calm, as if everything was under his control. The corrupt experts were also shocked. Standing behind the dwarf, they made their preparations for a huge battle. Right now, in terms of numbers, they still had an absolute advantage. Although the Zhuanshan Dao sect had moved out in full force, with Liu Kang, the tower department head, and the various hall master level experts and elders present, their power was still much weaker than the corrupt path. Both sides had pulled back and gathered, preparing for a fight. Li Xiangxuan, you really are brazen. You were actually willing to sacrifice a portion of your karmic luck to increase the power of the reincarnation mirror. Aren't you worried about the decline of your Zhuanshan Dao sect? Asked the dwarf, his expression dark. Li Xiangxuan's arrival completely ruined all his plans. Long Chen's heart shook. No wonder he felt that the reincarnation mirror looked even stronger than in that last battle over the Eastern Sea. I, Li Xiangxuan, have always been quite brazen. Back over the Eastern Sea, I only used 10% of the reincarnation mirror's power so the other 90% could continue to maintain our karmic luck. But this time, I was a bit worried and felt like adding an extra 20%. With two divine items, using a portion of its power won't rattle the Zhuanshan Dao sect's foundation, so you don't need to worry about it. Furthermore, if I didn't use 30% of the reincarnation mirror's power, how else would I be able to block your corrupt god skull? Li Xiangxuan smiled faintly. This skull the dwarf had summoned was the corrupt path's famed divine item, the corrupt god skull. It was rumored that the corrupt god skull was the skull of the seventh generation's corrupt god. It was one of the corrupt path's supreme treasures and contained the divine abilities of the seventh generation's corrupt god. But this skull was the same as the reincarnation mirror and normally used to maintain karmic luck. They wouldn't easily use it. Maintaining karmic luck. That sounded mysterious and vague, but all sects with long inheritances had to have a powerful divine item maintaining it. If the sect was a tree, then the roots were a sect's karmic luck. The greater the karmic luck, the more life energy the tree had. The tree's leaves could fall, but as long as the tree roots were still present, they could grow again. A sect's rise and fall was like a tree going through the seasons. As long as its karmic luck remained, it would forever exist. The longer the history of a sect, the more karmic luck they had as a foundation, and the more they needed a divine item to maintain it. They couldn't easily use those divine items, because doing so would harm the tree's roots and would be dangerous to their futures. For example, the heaven-splitting battle sect currently only had a single divine item maintaining their karmic luck. Furthermore, that divine item was connected to their heaven-earth divine pool. If they used it, the heaven-earth divine pool would be ruined, and it would signify that the heaven-splitting battle sect's karmic luck had run out. Although the heaven-splitting battle sect looked like it had already declined and was half-dead, as long as they had a divine item maintaining their karmic luck, anything was possible. It was like a tree that had collapsed, but still had a bit of life in its roots. There was always a chance that spring would come again, and the withered tree would once more thrum with vitality. As for the corrupt god skull that the corrupt path had brought, it was prepared just in case they encountered a divine item from the righteous path. The dwarf had felt like just the blood moon devouring sun formation would be enough to handle this. 
He hadn't expected Li Xiangxuan to arrive, but if they hadn't prepared the corrupt god skull just in case, they would have been completely annihilated here. That made the dwarf feel very irritated. He was unable to figure out how Li Xiangxuan had managed to scheme everything seemingly so perfectly as if everything was in his control. In order to be sure of their success today, they had also increased the power of the corrupt god skull to the point that it would be able to suppress the power of the reincarnation mirror, which had appeared over the eastern sea. But as if matching them, Li Xiangxuan had also increased the power of the reincarnation mirror. It was like he had known what they would do and was intentionally matching them. That made the dwarf want to cough up blood. How did you know our movements? And so clearly at that, asked the dwarf. Until he knew the answer to this, there would be an uncomfortable knot in his heart. Did you really think your plan was seamless? Did you really think Xuan Jizi's heaven-peering arts were omniscient? Xuan Jizi might be able to calculate fate, but he can't calculate people's hearts. If he continues like this, he'll sooner or later end up calculating himself to death. Li Xiangxuan shook his head. What do you mean? Demanded the dwarf gloomily. It's very simple. Xuan Jizi wishes to kill Long Chen to hide all the despicable things he has done over the years. According to my investigation, Hua Shiyu is just one of his victims. I've already found over a hundred geniuses that have fallen victim to Xuan Jizi. But even I don't know the true number of geniuses he has harmed. If he really had the ability to see through the heavens and understood the cycle of karma, if he could truly respect the will of the world, he wouldn't do such a thing that's against the heavens. Since he commits such atrocities, it means he's nothing more than a faker. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been expelled from Heavenly Fate Island and sent to be a swindler in the Grand Han ancient nation. Let me put it a bit more simply. He is just a conman. Although he has some ability, he doesn't use his head. Ever since the battle over the Eastern Sea, I knew that he definitely wouldn't let this go. I also knew that your corrupt path would get revenge after suffering such a loss. At that time, I had already used the reincarnation mirror to completely block the Zhuanshan Dao sect's fate from being read so that Xuan Jizi wouldn't be able to see anything about us. So he had no choice but to calculate things based on the Grand Xia's fate to find Long Chen's general position. And he didn't succeed in the Grand Xia. That is where the Wine God Palace is. And the Wine God Palace has a god's inheritance. There's no way he can calculate everything about the Wine God Palace. So he once more failed. As for when Long Chen left the Grand Xia and went to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect. Let alone Xuan Jizi. Even I without the slightest bit of ability in seeing through fate, could calculate that Long Chen's next step would definitely be Devil Spirit Mountain. As many people know that the heaven-splitting battle sect's divine item was lost in Devil Spirit Mountain. Now you should understand, right? Your so-called secret movements and Xuan Jizi's brilliant deductions are nothing more than a huge joke. Li Xiangxuan's words resounded through the air causing the dwarf's expression to grow more and more unsightly. Chapter 1287 Li Xiangxuan's Intelligence Translator Born to be Li Xiangxuan's words hung in the air. Everyone else was completely silent. Li Xiangxuan continued, When it comes to calculating fate, I don't have any skill. But when it comes to calculating people's hearts, I leave Xuan Jizi in the dust. As soon as that battle over the Eastern Sea was over, I had already predicted that such a day would come and was just waiting. I didn't need to pay attention to you, nor did I have to pay attention to Xuan Jizi. All I had to do was keep an eye on Long Chen. That was enough. As soon as Long Chen entered Devil Spirit Mountain, I began making my preparations. I knew you would definitely come. Even the bosses who looked down on intelligence couldn't help but praise Li Xiangxuan inside. When it came to brains. There was probably no one else who could outplay Li Xiangxuan. The way Li Xiangxuan put it made it seem so simple. In front of Li Xiangxuan, Xuan Jizi and the corrupt path's plot seemed laughably childish. The mantis stalks the cicada, unaware of the aureole behind it. In the end, everything had gone according to Li Xiangxuan's calculations. Then those people from the ancient races and the pill tower. You did that intentionally asked the dwarf. No. Of course not. Although I had arranged things in advance, when I came, I was disturbed by some special matters and didn't know what was happening here. Hmm. 
Based on your tone, you mean that experts from the ancient races and the pill tower are here? How come I don't see them? Li Xiangxuan simply acted stupid. In truth, Li Xiangxuan had slain those experts intentionally. As for why he acted like he didn't know, it was just a pretext to avoid being found guilty. As long as he refused to admit it, who would be able to do anything to him? Even if the ancient races and the pill tower decided to come and find him to settle this debt, he could simply say that it had been impossible for him to tell what had been happening inside the formation. To save Long Chen and the heaven splitting battle sects experts, he could only barge into the formation like that. This time, Li Xiangxuan was truly infuriated. The ancient races and the pill tower had plotted to kill Long Chen repeatedly without caring about the Zhuanchen Dao sect they had pushed Li Xiangxuan to his limit. When Long Chen had just entered the heaven splitting battle sect, the ancient races experts had tried to force the heaven splitting battle sect to hand over Long Chen. However, they hadn't even dared to let out a fart after the heaven splitting battle sect had slain three of their life star experts. That made Li Xiangxuan see that he couldn't continue enduring. The heaven splitting battle sect had declined just like them, but no one dared to bully them. It made the Zhuanchen Dao sect seem too weak in comparison. So this time, Li Xiangxuan had killed Dan Sheng and the ancient races experts as a display of power. Did the Pill Tower think they could bully everyone? Did the ancient races think they could dominate the lands? Then they could come. In any case, the Zhuanchen Dao sect had also declined to their breaking point just like the heaven-splitting battle sect why not go all out? Li Xiangxuan had completely bared his fangs to prove to everyone that the Zhuanchen Dao sect was still the old Zhuanchen Dao sect, one of the three great sects. The three great sects of the heavens from back then had long since declined. The heaven-splitting battle sect, the Zhuanchen Dao sect, the heaven-suppressing magic sect, not one of them was an exception. The heaven-splitting battle sect was already in imminent danger, but they still stuck out their chests boldly, their spines never bending. On the other hand, successive generations of Xuan masters had been very conservative. As a result, after so many years, they had been suppressed and suffered in silence. As for the heaven-suppressing magic sect, they had a good relationship with Pill Valley and were good at sucking up. Although they looked like they were flourishing, their inner workings were very complicated. They had long since lost their original power. Now the heaven-suppressing magic sect was just a dog of the pill tower. They had long since been secretly controlled by them. Regretfully for both sides, they had paid a huge price this time. Li Xiangxuan had even seen Ma Zingkong being killed by the corrupt path. In truth, in the pill tower's eyes, the heaven-suppressing magic sect was truly just a dog. Normally if they gave a dog a few treats, the dog would help bite others for them. When the pill tower wanted to speak, the dog could bark a bit as well. Back in the day, just how glorious had the three heavenly sects been? But now they were a thing of the past. The heaven-suppressing magic sect had fallen to the point that they needed to wag their tails and beg for the pity of others. It was a sorrowful thing. As for the Zhuanchen Dao sect, their situation was like a frog being slowly boiled. Although it didn't look like there was any danger in the short term, by the time that danger arrived, everything would be too late. Li Xiangxuan was a smart man, and he had made his determination to revitalize the Zhuanchen Dao sect. He acted boldly and decisively. If you were prepared, why didn't you gather the Martial Heaven Alliance and other righteous powers? Wouldn't that give you more assurance? Probed the dwarf. He was completely rattled by Li Xiangxuan. He couldn't make heads or tails of Li Xiangxuan's methods. Although he was a wily old fox, Li Xiangxuan was like an experienced hunter. No, luxurious meat should be consumed by oneself. Why split it with others? We don't have that many people, so we probably won't be able to eat it all. But I feel like eating a portion should be no problem. Li Xiangxuan smiled. HMPH, you're so confident sneered the dwarf. Hearing that Li Xiangxuan hadn't gathered other righteous powers made him much more at ease. The righteous path was never united enough. They schemed against each other all the time, and if they couldn't obtain something, they wouldn't let others obtain it either. If Li Xiangxuan had truly arranged for an army of righteous experts to appear here, the dwarf would immediately activate the corrupt god skull to bring all his people away. 
But if the only people to come were the ones here, he was unafraid, and through the corrupt God Skull's power, he had subtly probed the area and didn't see any signs of a formation or hidden auras, that made him calm down. In the corrupt path's eyes, the righteous path's people were incomparably greedy and selfish. What Li Xiangxuan had just said perfectly matched the righteous path's character. HMPH, you're looking down on my corrupt path. This time, I brought all the elites of Blood Mask Gate. Even with your heaven-splitting battle sect and Zhuanshan Dao sect working together, it's not easy to say whether or not you'll be able to block our sharp blades. Attack. The dwarf formed hand seals, and countless blood-colored runes blazed like the sun on the corrupt god skull. The beam of light coming from its forehead increased in intensity. It was now several times stronger than before. Following his order, the Life Star experts flew out at the Zhuanshan Dao sect's side. The others also followed. There's no need to waste the effort. My mission is just to keep an eye on you. I won't interfere in their battle, said Li Xiangxuan indifferently. The reason the dwarf was activating the corrupt god skull at full power was to make Li Xiangxuan have to focus on him. Otherwise, the slightest negligence might allow Li Xiangxuan to send down some of the power of his divine item below and exterminate his corrupt path's experts. In truth, he had the same thoughts. He had great confidence in the experts he had brought along. Whether it was in terms of numbers or quality, they far surpassed their side. Then that's best. Let's see just who is stronger. The dwarf smiled coldly, but he placed his complete attention on Li Xiangxuan afraid of him pulling some trick. He had no choice but to be as careful as possible when it came to Li Xiangxuan. Fuck. After stifling so much anger, I can finally vent against some corrupt bastards. But don't worry, these heads will count toward your Zhuanshan Dao sect. Boss Ba shouted and shot forward at one of the incoming Life Star experts. Following Boss Ba, Liu Kang, as well as the dark-faced. Never Smiling Tower Department had also flew out at the Life Star experts. Then the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth boss flew out. Only the seventh boss hesitated. There are too many soul transformation experts on their side. Will you be alright? Don't worry about us. We can handle it. On the other hand, for the nine of you to face 18 Life Star experts is troublesome, said Long Chen worriedly. Haha, <laughs> as long as you're fine. There definitely won't be any problem on our side. We're still not so old that you can look down on us. The seventh boss laughed confidently. No longer hesitating, he charged out at the Life Star experts. This was different from the previous battle. This was the true time to fight with their lives on the line. The seven bosses immediately started using their fiercest moves. Unleashing dangerous, suicidal moves. The seven bosses fought with Liu Kang and the tower department head against the Life Star experts. Although their battle was incredibly shocking, they all had misjivings about their people and began to slowly fly away, leaving the main battlefield to the others. One reason was because they were worried about their disciples being killed by the shock waves, but another reason was because they were afraid of touching the Sovereign Blood Seal. The Sovereign Blood Seal would annihilate anyone who attacked it so none of them dared to fight near it. The Life Star experts distanced themselves from the main battlefield. By that time, the Soul Transformation experts had arrived. Over 500 Soul Transformation experts were charging over like bloodthirsty devils, their eyes shining with a vicious light. The new Elder Hall Master led the Zhuanshan Dao sect Soul Transformation experts forward. This time, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had truly moved out in full force. They had over 80 soul transformation experts. They had even called out their experts that had been in seclusion for decades or even centuries. Although the difference in number was far too vast, they all knew that in this righteous and corrupt battle, the time had come for them to repay the sect that had raised them for so many years. None of them retreated, but they had only just been about to charge forward when Long Chen stopped them. Soul transformation experts don't need to fight alone. Let's have a full chaotic battle if they fought according to the style of soldiers fight soldiers, generals fight generals, then the soul transformation realm would be the Zhuanshan Dao sect's fatal weakness. The number difference between them was too great. Although Long Chen was just a disciple, all these soul transformation experts listened to him. Within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, 
Long Chen's prestige was only second to the Xuan Master. Brothers, after being apart for so long, you should all have reached the peak of foundation forging. Let's once more fight alongside each other against these demons from the corrupt path. There's no need to hide your power this time. Let loose and let me see your true power. Today, we're going to carry out a slaughter. Long Chen raised his head and roared. That roar shook the nine heavens. Long Chen's roar ignited all the hot blood of the dragon blood warriors. Thirteen thousand warriors let out a simultaneous roar. Slaughter them. The furious roar of ten thousand experts containing boundless battle intent resounded throughout the world. Don't worry, I, Guo Ran, will get us off to a good start. Guo Ran appeared in the air, a huge crossbow in front of him. Seeing it, Long Chen's pupils narrowed. An ancestral item? Chapter 1288 World Shaking Arrow Translator Born to be that was a huge crossbow 30 meters long. It couldn't even be called a crossbow anymore. Instead, it should be called a ballista, the kind used to destroy huge city walls. Whatever it was, it was pitch black and looked extremely impressive. Its arms flared open, and it gave off a sense of immense pressure. There was a foot-thick arrow already knocked. It was shaped like the tongue of a serpent, and just looking at it gave others chills. The two arms of the crossbow were completely covered in runes, and with the way the light moved along it, it looked like it was alive. It was as if the entire crossbow was one huge beast. Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. That little fellow Guo Ran truly had some terrifying comprehension ability. Long Chen was no longer a rookie when it came to ancestral items. He was extremely familiar with those fluctuations. Guo Ran's crossbow had definitely been forged with material on the ancestral item level. However, while it looked mighty and as if it was alive, Long Chen couldn't sense an item spirit. That meant it was not a true ancestral item. With the crossbow giving off immense pressure, Guo Ran pressed his hand on one end, his eyes shining with excitement. I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth, slaughtered demons, eliminated devils, plucked the stars and moon. When you need an unrivaled hero, Guo Ran will be there. Villains of the corrupt path, listen well. As long as I, Guo Ran, am present. Your corrupt path is forever doomed to be suppressed by me. Guo Ran's shout lingered through the air, his long hair billowing back as he stood there arrogantly in the sky. It was truly a grand sight. Long Chen was speechless. This little fellow's rate of improvement in forging and showing off was completely mismatched. If his forging skills increased by a hundred percent, his poser skills would increase by a thousand percent. His showing off was reaching the pinnacle of the showing off paradigm. As Guo Ran spoke, the crossbow shook and its runes lit up. A huge light beam shot at the corrupt army. The light beam was blinding, and even divine sense was inhibited by it. The corrupt experts were shocked, not daring to be careless. They unleashed their own attacks at the light beam. But what shocked them was that their attack simply went straight through the light beam. That seemingly incredibly terrifying light beam, which gave off horrifying pressure, actually didn't have the slightest power. It was just an ordinary beam of light. Just at this moment, a soft snick rang out. A huge arrow shot out like a bolt of lightning. According to reason, the sound of a huge arrow piercing through space should be thunderous. But this arrow had Guo Ran's special space piercing runes carved into it. It made practically no sound as it flew through the air. Watch out. The corrupt experts realized that Guo Ran was simply shameless. That light beam had only contained great pressure but no power. It was a foundation for this second attack. Boom. Regretfully, they realized it too late. The arrow exploded amongst them. The huge arrow, which was like a pillar that held up a palace, exploded into sharp fragments. Even though the corrupt soul transformation experts had immediately reacted and activated their defenses, it wasn't enough. Within this arrow were Guo Ran's personally forged spiral blades. They were only the size of a fist and looked like frisbees but there were dozens of sharp teeth on them. They looked like flattened sea urchins. These things spun rapidly, and when they pierced through people's bodies, because they were extremely fast, although the hole would only be the size of a fist when they pierced a person's body, by the time it exited, the pressure would increase the size of the exit wound to the size of a washbasin. 
There were thousands upon thousands of those fragments exploding amongst the corrupt soul transformation experts. They instantly pierced through the closest corrupt experts, blowing them to pieces. Because they were too concentrated, those two clothes were left without a corpse. Their bodies would normally explode if they were struck by just three, but the closest bunch were struck by dozens of them. As for those further away, they were lucky. After all, after piercing through the bodies of soul transformation experts, those spinning blade discs lost most of their penetrative power. But even so, this sudden explosion immediately emptied a space amongst the corrupt army's soul transformation experts. 70 to 80 of them were slain, and over a hundred were covered in blood, their bodies no longer complete. Those people were lucky that it was their arms or legs that were incomplete. Otherwise, if those discs had struck their heads, they'd have died. Blood filled the air. Within this blood were dozens of translucent figures. They were those soul transformation experts Yuan spirits. Only over 30 of them managed to survive as Yuan spirits. Those with weak spiritual strength were completely annihilated in body and soul. But although half of them survived as Yuan spirits, without their physical bodies, their combat power dropped sharply. Furthermore, a Yuan spirit could not take the place of a physical body to cultivate. They would then need to find a suitable body to take. And even once they did, that physical body definitely wouldn't suit their souls as well as their original body. In other words, their cultivation bases would probably never surpass the soul transformation realm for the rest of their lives. Guo Ran's arrow shocked everyone. Its power was too terrifying. Bao Buping and Chang Hao's jaws were dropped as low as possible. Just as everyone was shocked by Guo Ran's arrow, the sky suddenly darkened. A huge figure flew over the sky, pouncing on those Yuan spirits. It was the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. It shot over to those Yuan spirits, gulping them down in one mouthful. Damn animal. Die. The corrupt experts immediately launched attacks on it upon seeing it swallow those Yuan spirits. Cloud's wings lit up just before those attacks landed. In the next instant, when the attacks landed, Cloud exploded. Only then did the corrupt experts realize that what they had attacked was nothing more than an afterimage. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow had already flown high into the air. Nice job, Cloud. I have a few snacks for you as well. Long Chen laughed and flung a bottle into the air. Those were the Yuan spirits he had collected over this time. He knew that these Yuan spirits were the best tonics for Cloud, so he had kept them this entire time. But he hadn't expected Guo Ran's attack to instantly give Cloud so much rich meat. The Yuan spirits he had bitterly gathered over all this time had turned into nothing more than a snack. Cloud let out a beautiful bird cry and devoured the bottle. Its huge body continued to fly back and forth in the air, and the runes on its wings lit up. A terrifying pressure began to rise. It seemed it was in the midst of refining those Yuan spirits. In the battle over the Eastern Sea, Cloud had advanced to the Ninth Realm. Even after all this time, after Men Chi had spent an ocean's worth of resources, Cloud's cultivation base had only just stabilized at the early Ninth Rank. There was no way around that. Cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows were simply too hard to raise. Their cultivation required an exorbitant amount of resources. Even the Zhuanshan Dao sect as a whole wasn't able to raise such a terrifying existence, let alone just Meng Chi. Fortunately, Cloud was very sensible, and it would rather not show its hunger to Meng Chi. That made Meng Chi feel extremely upset as she felt like she owed Cloud far too much. But now, Guo Ran had slain so many soul transformation experts, and Meng Chi had immediately summoned Cloud, letting it feast. This was also thanks to the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows innate divine ability. Devouring. Their devouring power was their most terrifying ability. Even creatures stronger than it would be annihilated if they were sucked into its stomach. It was an extremely heaven defying ability. The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow's stomach had its own space. Within it, the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow was the ruler. Quick. Kill that damn brood. The corrupt experts roared furiously. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow was a legendary existence, and not just anyone would recognize it. As a result, these people thought they still might be able to save their fellow comrades if they killed it fast enough. Soul wound into a dream. Infinite chaos. 
Just at this moment, a fairy-like voice rang out. Meng Chi was in the air like a fairy who had descended into this world, forming hand seals and softly opening her mouth. An invisible ripple rapidly spread. The ripple covered all of heaven and earth. The corrupt disciples' expressions changed as they felt themselves enter a daze. Up and down inverted. It was like the world was flipping around them. Zhuangshan profundity. Tempest's fury. Meng Chi had just unleashed her large-scale soul art to cause the corrupt experts to enter a temporary dizzy state when Tang Wan Er flew out. Runes revolved around her, and the aura of a rank 8 celestial erupted. Countless wind blades formed a huge cyclone. The cyclone raged furiously, turning the area around it into a huge storm zone. Suddenly, a pillar of wind blades shot out from the center of the storm zone at the corrupt experts. This pillar of wind blades contained the will of heaven and earth. It was like this attack represented the fury of the heavens. In front of this will, people wouldn't dare to resist. Long Chen's heart shook. After being apart for so long, Tang Wan Er's power had once more risen, to the point that even he was shocked. Her comprehension of wind energy had actually reached the point that the laws of heaven and earth boosted her attack power. The corrupt soul transformation experts panicked. Due to Meng Qi's soul art, their spiritual perception had sharply dropped, and by the time they could recollect themselves, the pillar of wind blade struck them like lightning. Chapter 1289 Nine Flowers Manifest The Heavenly Deus Translator Born to be Meng Qi's huge area of effect attack didn't actually contain any killing power. Her goal was only to affect the corrupt expert souls for a moment to give Tang Wan Er a chance to unleash her attack. Only a few corrupt soul transformation experts with powerful souls and protective soul items were able to remain unaffected. The vast majority still felt like their heads were ringing and were unable to form any effective defenses. If this attack landed, it would probably have about the same effect as Guo Ran's arrow. HMPH. An insignificant trick. Just how much could you possibly understand of the laws of heaven and earth? Suddenly, a cold laugh rang out and a red-haired man suddenly appeared in front of the corrupt soul transformation experts. It was Gui Yan. Gui Yan formed a strange hand seal, and the space in front of him suddenly shook. Blood-red runes filled the air around it. Heaven and earth were dyed a bloody color. Within the sea of blood-red runes, nine flowers appeared, forming a flower ring around Gui Yan, the manifestation of a rank nine celestial. Nine flowers manifest the heavenly deos. One of the hall masters of the Zhuangshan Dao sect suddenly let out a startled cry. Recognizing this version of the cry of the heavenly deos, Tang Wan Er's attack struck Gui Yan's runic si. But shockingly, it only caused Gui Yan's manifestation to shake three times before all of Tang Wan Er's energy was sucked away. Not even a ripple managed to get past him. Not good. This is the absolute suppression of a rank 9 celestial the hall master's expression sank. This so-called absolute suppression was the huge restraining effect that rank 9 celestials had toward the lower ranks. 9. 9 was the pinnacle. In front of a rank 9 celestial, the attacks of rank 8 celestials would be affected by the heavenly deos and would have difficulty causing any injuries to a rank 9 celestial. Whether it was a rank 8 celestial or a rank 9 celestial, when they summoned their cry of the heavenly deos, they would be supported by heavenly Tao energy that would make their attack power multiply by up to dozens of times. This was a collision of power that came from the same source. It was like the clash of two rivers. Whichever side's power was greater would be the side that absorbed the other. From rank 1 celestials to rank 8 celestials, there was always a suppressive effect on those of the lower ranks. But it was never as terrifying as the suppressive effect rank 9 celestials had on rank 8 celestials. When Gui Yan summoned his cry of the heavenly deos, everyone clearly felt the surrounding heavenly Tao energy being stripped away from them. Tang Wan Er couldn't even absorb a tenth of the heavenly Tao energy that Gui Yan was absorbing. Although they were both celestials, the heavens were like a loving mother to one, but an evil stepmother to the other. The difference in treatment was immense. Tang Wan Er was shocked. She was a rank 8 celestial, and with Men Qi's help, this full power attack would have definitely slain a few soul transformation experts. But such a terrifying attack wasn't even able to cause a ripple in Gui Yan's runic sea. 
Just as everyone was shocked by Ji Yui Yan's power, the sea of runes around Ji Yui Yan suddenly surged as if a large rock had fallen in a sea. This was the reaction caused by Tang Wan Er's attack falling into his manifestation. Suddenly, a large runic arrow shot out from Ji Yui Yan's runic sea at the distant Guo Ran. When this runic arrow appeared, everyone's expressions changed. This arrow contained the energy of Tang Wan Er's attack. It was unknown what method Ji Yui Yan had used to actually unleash Tang Wan Er's attack as his own. Even combining it with his own power, the runic arrow was like lightning, shooting toward Guo Ran at an alarming speed. By the time Guo Ran reacted, the runic arrow was right in front of him. Even with his armor, this runic arrow contained the combined power of Tang Wan Er's full power attack and Ji Yui Yan's own power. It definitely wouldn't be easy to receive. Just at this moment, a figure appeared in front of Guo Ran and kicked his crossbow in the direction of the attack. Boom. The huge crossbow was blown to bits. The explosion caused the world to lose all its color. This attack was absolutely terrifying. Let alone Guo Ran. Even soul transformation experts would have been annihilated. Guo Ran. The dragon blood warriors let out furious roars. Within that terrifying explosion, Guo Ran would be blown apart. All the dragon blood warriors instantly became red-eyed beasts, their killing intent exploding. It's boss. Just as they thought Guo Ran had died, the dust settled and space stopped twisting. They saw a huge ring in the air emitting endless divine might. Long Chen stood in front of the divine ring, holding a pot, slowly putting down the pot. He revealed Guo Ran behind him. Long Chen's eyes were completely calm, but that naughty smile of his had vanished. He had instantly become another person, seeming more like an undefeatable battle god. He put away the black pot and took out a blood-colored saber. With blood drinker resting on his shoulder, he looked at Ji Yui Yan and icily said, Your opponent is me. Come at me. In the face of this terrifying rank 9 celestial, Long Chen was full of battle intent. Each powerful opponent was another stepping stone for him to advance. Only by using these stepping stones could he reach the peak of the martial path and get closer to his origins. That was why what Long Chen felt toward Ji Yui Yan wasn't hatred or anger. There was only a thirst for a battle with an expert. Ji Yui Yan also wasn't angry that Long Chen had blocked his attack. Instead, he laughed. Good. Looks like you're a bit stronger than I thought. That will make it interesting. Then turning to the corrupt experts behind him, he icily said. I'm not from the same side as you. I only came this time for Long Chen. I've done all I need to do for you already. So starting now, your lives and deaths have nothing to do with me. Buzz. Ji Yui Yan crushed a translucent jade tablet, and white ripples spread through the air. Long Chen was covered by those ripples. The white ripples began to rise, bringing Long Chen and Ji Yui Yan into the air, distancing them from the battlefield. Long Chen didn't move. He allowed Ji Yui Yan to bring him away. When they finally reached a certain height, the white ripples finally stopped rising. This is a broken piece of the ancient battlefield's divine stage. Although it's already broken, it can still summon a battle space that others can't disturb. Even life star experts can't interfere, said Ji Yui Yan. Are you worried about others saving me? Don't worry, the one to die today will definitely be you. Long Chen shook his head. Ha ha ha. How egotistical, laughed Ji Yui Yan his, voice full of contempt. It's not egotistical. This is simply my confidence. No matter what rank of celestial you are, as long as we are in the same realm, the one to be defeated will definitely be you. This is the iron law created from the countless life and death battles I've experienced, said Long Chen. It truly wasn't egotistical. Up to now. Long Chen had maintained a perfect record against those in the same realm as him. This kind of confidence was the result of trampling over a mountain of corpses of powerful enemies. This confidence could not be shaken. Although Long Chen had never fought a rank 9 celestial, this confidence still filled his heart. This undefeatable confidence of his was incomparably staunch. Ha ha ha. Good. Very good. I like this arrogance of yours. Do you know why I would sacrifice a treasure just to isolate you from all the other experts? Asked Ji Yui Yan. I don't. Long Chen thought about it. Clearly, Ji Yui Yan had some other goal other than preventing others from saving him. I have two goals. 
One is to let the righteous and corrupt expert see me completely crush you, returning all the humiliation you've brought to the corrupt path a hundred times, said Ji Yui Yan. Oh, this dream is not bad. Then I suppose the second goal is related to Len Yuian, asked Long Chen. Not bad. Yes, this formation can record our battle. When the time comes, I'll show Len Yuian that the Long Chen she brought up is nothing more than trash, said Ji Yuian, his eyes as sharp as blades. Long Chen frowned. I'm curious. Why are you set on viewing Len Yuian and I together? This was something Long Chen was curious about, based on what Ji Yuian had said. Len Yuian had only mentioned his name, but Ji Yuian hated him so much. His appearance made it seem like he wanted to bite him to death. Because I am one of Len Yuian's pursuers, said Ji Yuian coldly. That has nothing to do with me. She's the one who cut you, not me, said Long Chen. Len Yuian said that you, Long Chen, are the only real man in her eyes. As for us, as for us, we're garbage. Die, you bastard. Flames were practically spurting from Ji Yui Yan's eyes, and it was like all his resentment instantly erupted. The nine flowers revolved around him along with his runes. He sent a fist smashing toward Long Chen. Hearing what Ji Yui Yan said, Long Chen was surprised. He hadn't expected Len Yui Yan to view him so highly. No wonder Ji Yui Yan looked as angry as if Long Chen had slain his father, failing in his pursuit of Len Yui Yan. He ended up being cut in the mouth and cursed as garbage. This was definitely enough reason for a prideful rank 9 celestial to find trouble with Long Chen. Ji Yui Yan's punch brought with it immense pressure that made it hard for Long Chen to breathe. It felt like his fist had absorbed all the energy of the world, as if all of heaven and earth were blessing him. In front of Ji Yui Yan, Long Chen clearly sensed the rejection he felt from heaven and earth intensify. They were both sons of this world. Yet one was given a candy, while the other was slapped in the face. The difference in treatment was immense. That made Long Chen feel even more hatred for the heavens. Four stars suddenly appeared in Long Chen's eyes, and he also sent out a punch. Chapter 1290 Bloody Righteous and Corrupt Battle Translator Born to be further away from the battlefield, up in the air, the reincarnation mirror was unleashing boundless divine might against the corrupt god skull. The clash of these two divine items had formed an empty region of 10,000 miles. From the outside, it was like a huge blazing star hung in the air, but they were unable to see what was inside. But inside the star, it was possible to see everything outside clearly. Li Xiangxuan's expression was still as calm as ever, but the corrupt dwarf was starting to feel a bit uneasy. Guo Ran's arrow had truly shocked him. Then his feeling of unease had grown stronger when he saw Menchi and Tang Wan'er attack. Fortunately, their attack had been blocked by Ji Yui Yan, or quite a few soul transformation experts would have been slain again. The dwarf had never imagined that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples would be so powerful. They were clearly only at the peak of foundation forging, but their killing power far surpassed the limits of their cultivation basis. Then the arrival of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow caused his heart to turn cold. He felt like he might have been duped again. You don't need to think so much. Yes, you've already been duped. If you had fled as soon as we appeared, you would have at least escaped unscathed. Furthermore, the souls and bodies of seven life star experts and dozens of soul transformation experts can cancel out the price of using the blood moon devouring sun formation. If you had wanted to leave. I wouldn't have been able to stop you. But now, the battle has already started. There's no way for you to instantly gather all your people and leave, said Li Xiangxuan calmly as if seeing through his thoughts. You've invited other helpers. The dwarf was startled. No, Li Xiangxuan shook his head. Without other helpers, where does your confidence come from? Demanded the dwarf. My confidence stems from Long Chen and his dragon blood legion. You might not know this. But Long Chen continuously makes miracles just to survive. So I trust him, said Li Xiangxuan. What a huge joke. Ji Yui Yan is one of my corrupt path's top geniuses, while Long Chen merely has a bit of fame within the righteous path. Today, his miracles will come to an end, sneered the dwarf. The curious thing was that Li Xiangxuan merely smiled slightly and didn't retort. Instead, he nodded. Yes, it truly is a huge joke. 
but the jokes they were talking about were referring to completely different things. Kill. Down below, everyone was capable of seeing Long Chen and Ji Yui Yan clashing fiercely in the sky. The curtains to the battlefield below were also fully drawn open. First, kill that female soul cultivator. Right off the bat, the corrupt experts already focused their attacks on Men Chi. Her soul energy was too terrifying. Even soul transformation experts would be affected by her soul arts. Although the limitations of her cultivation base made it so she could only affect them for a moment. In an intense battle of experts, just the blink of an eye could determine life and death. So in the corrupt expert's eyes, Meng Chi posed the greatest threat. Hall Master Seniors, block the main force. Kings assist the elite disciples in sudden attacks. Dragonblood Warriors, annihilate their foundation forging cannon fodder Guo Ran was directing everyone. He was wearing his golden armor, and he held a much more reasonably sized crossbow in his hand. As a long-distance attacker with such sturdy armor, Guo Ran didn't need to worry about sneak attacks. He was fast and nimble, making him the best choice for directing their side. Bastard, who are you calling cannon fodder Guo Ran's voice was amplified by his armor, giving it a metallic sound, but it resounded throughout every corner of the battlefield, and as a result, he enraged the corrupt experts. He was talking about you. When both armies clashed, the Dragonblood warriors charged through the midst of the Foundation Forging Disciples. Both sides were at the Foundation Forging Realm, and seeing the other side, they pounced on each other, their eyes red. In just the first instant, the corrupt experts began to fall in huge numbers. They were shocked to find that these fellows were completely crazy. They refused to fight properly and instead launched suicidal moves. Each of their moves was one that exchanged their own life for the lives of others. Even the corrupt path, famed for their viciousness, wouldn't start a battle like this. Although they also did the same thing sometimes, that was only when there was no other option, not right at the start of a fight. Were these dragonblood warriors crazy? The corrupt experts were struck dumb for a moment. Why can't you fight properly? roared one of the corrupt experts right before dying, expressing his final thoughts. Who launched a suicidal attack right at the start of a battle? How else could you describe these people other than crazy? Bastards. Who's afraid of fighting like that? We can do the same thing, roared one of the corrupt experts. Continuing like this wasn't an option. Although they numbered over 30,000, which was three times the number of the Dragonblood Legion, they'd sooner or later be slaughtered to the last by these madmen. Right now, they had to compete in terms of who was crazier, and who was more ruthless. Blood splashed. Limbs flew through the air. Fuck. How can they all have king item armor? Roared one of the corrupt experts. As both sides fought crazily, the corrupt side realized that each of the dragonblood warriors was wearing a powerful set of armor. As long as they protected their heads, they were extremely difficult to kill. They even have wood attribute experts assisting them. Fucking kill them first. The corrupt experts almost went insane from fury. After sacrificing a dozen people, one of them finally managed to heavily injure one of the dragonblood warriors. The corrupt expert was just about to launch a fatal attack when a green light fell upon that warrior, completely revitalizing him. Long Chen had placed special importance on grooming these healing warriors. After leaving the Grand Shia, he had sent the heavenly Tao fruits he had gathered in the Four Nations ancient remnant to the Huaian sect, who had sent them to the Zhuanshan Tao sect. Now all these healing warriors were rank 7 celestials, and their wood energy became even purer. Adding on what they had gained from the Zhuanshan catalog, their healing abilities had made huge advances. Any injury received by a dragonblood warrior, whether internal or external, could be healed instantly. The Dragonblood Warriors clashed with the Corrupt Path's Foundation Forging Disciples. Despite the numbers disparity, the Dragonblood Warriors had terrifying killing power, and they slaughtered their way through the Corrupt Foundation Forging Disciples, forcing them to retreat miserably over and over again. Further away was the Battle of the Soul Transformation Experts. This battlefield was chaotic. The Corrupt Path's side was composed of only Soul Transformation Experts. While the Zhuanshan Dao sect had people in the Soul Transformation Realm, Jade Core Realm, and Foundation Forging Realm, although Guo Ran's initial attack had killed over 70 of them, 
the corrupt PAF side still had over 400 soul transformation experts. As for the Zhuangshan Dao sect, they only had just over 80 soul transformation experts. However, they had over 700 Jade Core Kings. They were the elites of the Zhuangshan Dao sect with great power. Other than them, there was Meng Chi, Tang Wanur, and the others representing the Foundation Forging Disciples. They were the strongest members of this generation of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Kill that soul cultivator. The corrupt experts made Meng Chi their number one target. She was too dangerous. In just the first clash, Meng Chi had once more unleashed her soul arts, and as a result, several people had been affected by her soul arts and killed by others. Die. Slot. One of the corrupt soul transformation experts broke through the blockade of the kings to reach Meng Chi, slamming a palm down. You're the one who should die. Old ghost. A furious row rang out, followed by a huge spiked club. The corrupt soul transformation expert was startled. He had clearly passed everyone and hadn't sensed any more powerful auras. Boom. That soul transformation expert's protective runes were as weak as paper in front of that spiked club. He directly exploded on contact, and his soul dissipated. He was killed in one blow. Behind the huge club was an even larger giant. Even in death, that corrupt expert would never imagine that there would be someone who didn't cultivate spiritual yuan and had no cultivation base aura, but could still smash him to death with a club. Corrupt path bastards who bully my brother long. All of you can die, roared wild. The blood-colored lines in his face lit up and those lines stretched down his neck, his arms, and his legs. It was like a sleeping monster had awakened within Wilde's body. Silver spots began to appear all over his bronze skin. Just at this time, another soul transformation expert attacked, and Wilde smashed his club at him, sending him flying. That expert hacked up blood violently. Wilde was now like a magical beast in human form, smashing his huge spiked club around. He charged into the midst of the corrupt soul transformation experts. They were alarmed and hastily went to block him. But no matter who tried to stop him, they would be blown back by a smash of his club. There was even one unlucky fellow whose king item sword shattered into fragments and pierced his own body. We need reinforcements here to handle this big dumb brat. Seven corrupt soul transformation experts flew at wild at the same time. With a furious roar that sounded like it came from a magical beast, Wilde unleashed a tempest of attacks with his spiked club. Like a rolling boulder, he smashed through the corrupt soul transformation experts. Just as Wilde drew everyone's attention, a corrupt soul transformation expert snuck his way behind Meng Chi, wielding a pitch black claw. He silently stretched out toward Meng Chi's heart. Meng Chi turned a blind eye to his attack, forming hand seals. She was completely focused on the clashing soul transformation experts. After all, they were the main force. As long as she affected the enemy experts even slightly, the Zhuangshan Dao sect soul transformation experts could take that chance to kill their opponents. That would make the difference between both sides rapidly decrease. And this was the only way to avoid huge casualties amongst the kings. That corrupt expert thought that Meng Chi hadn't sensed him, and he smiled sinisterly. Sharp wind rends the moon. Just as he was preparing to attack, a cold cry rang out that caused his expression to change. His whole body shook, and when he turned back, he saw a man slowly sheathing his sword behind his back. Chapter 1291 The Sword Returns to the Source Translator Born to be the sound of a sword returning to its sheath was very clear, but the corrupt expert felt like his heart had been smashed by a hammer. Following that, the world suddenly split apart. He was shocked. Just what kind of magical art was this? He suddenly understood something right before his vision turned forever dark. Two halves of his body fell from the sky. Before they touched the ground, Yu Zifeng had already shot off toward another corrupt soul transformation expert. Watch out. He's a sword cultivator. He can ignore the cultivation base difference. Warned a corrupt soul transformation expert. But it was already too late. Yu Zifeng's sword once more came out of its sheath, flashing through the air. Another soul transformation expert was cut in half. Even his king item was slashed apart. Consecutive soul transformation experts were slain by a foundation forging disciple, and in one shot each, that made the corrupt experts' hearts turn cold. 
his sword once more returned to his sheath, and Yu Zifan rushed away, choosing his next target. An unhealthy color had now appeared on his face. Boom. A soul transformation expert was blown back by a full power swing of Gu Yang's spear. Just at that moment, Yu Zifeng pounced, annihilating him in body and soul. Zifeng, take it easy. You're pushing yourself too hard, warned Gu Yang quietly. Yu Zifeng's face was turning gray. He was using a terrifying secret art to give himself immense power, which was the only reason he was able to consecutively slay soul transformation experts so easily. But this kind of secret art would definitely have terrible side effects. There's no other choice. The elders aren't able to handle it. Don't worry about me. Yu Zifeng nodded in acknowledgement and once more shot out. Kill that sword cultivator. We can't let him grow up. The corrupt expert saw just how terrifying Yu Zifeng was. Right now, he was in the foundation forging realm, but could instantly kill soul transformation experts. If he matured, he would definitely be the bane of the corrupt path. He had to be cut down now. Thirteen soul transformation experts shot at Yu Zifeng at the same time, hoping to kill him in the first exchange. Yu Zifeng took a deep breath and slowly closed his eyes. When his eyes popped back open, the image of a sword had appeared in them. Yu Zifeng slowly raised his sword. Shockingly, heaven and earth also seemed to slow down. As Yu Zifeng's sword moved, sword images began to appear. They were actually incredibly condensed and realistic, looking just like real swords. When his sword completed a full revolution through the air, the sword images around him looked like a blooming lotus. 81 sharp swords were pointed in every direction. In that instant, the enemy's expressions completely changed. They felt a burst of pain in their souls. That was the result of feeling mortal danger pressing down upon them. They almost instinctively gave up their attacks and turned to flee. The sword returns to the source. Yu Zifeng's 81 swords shot out like 81 streaks of lightning. Terrified screams rang out along with the sound of flesh being pierced. Those 13 soul transformation experts were all slain in an instant. A foundation forging disciple had killed over 10 soul transformation experts in one attack. The entire battlefield turned silent for a moment, as this had surpassed all their understanding. Although sword cultivators had been acknowledged as the number one offensive cultivators for tens of thousands of years, consecutively killing experts two realms above oneself was still hard to accept. After this attack, Yu Zifeng's eyes became listless. He fell from the sky without the slightest fluctuations of life. Zifeng, Gu Yang and the others let out a startled cry. They hadn't expected Yu Zifeng to have sacrificed his own life energy to kill these experts. Get his corpse. The corrupt experts became greedy. If they could take Yu Zifeng's corpse, perhaps they could peer into some mysteries of the sword Dao. Scram. Spirit of the earth. Kill them. Two shouts rang out at the same time, and the earth split open. Two huge earth giants charged out, blocking the corrupt experts. Those corrupt experts let out a cold snort and attacked, striking the two earth giants with rays of light. The earth giants weren't able to bear the attacks of over 10 soul transformation experts at once, and their upper bodies exploded, leaving behind only their lower halves. The corrupt soul transformation experts continued on, but their expressions quickly changed. The earth giants suddenly regrew out of their lower halves, once more blocking their way. Ah, one of the corrupt soul transformation experts had been too far forward to stop. As a result, one of the earth giants clapped its hands together like swatting a mosquito, killing him. These animated earth giants had been summoned from a distance by Li Qi and Song Mingyuan. They were controlled by the two of them, but their energy came from the earth. Right now, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were also rank 8 celestials, and adding on what they had comprehended within the Zhuanshan catalog, their control over earth energy had reached an unprecedented height. But although these earth giants were powerful, their bodies were too huge, making their movements awkward. Their attacks were easy to dodge, which made their killing power low. That dead corrupt expert could only blame his bad luck. The other corrupt soul transformation experts hastily fell back. They had almost shared the same fate as their fallen comrade. Just at this moment, Li Qi caught Yu Zifeng, carefully examining him. Li Qi truly found that Yu Zifeng didn't have the slightest bit of life within him. 
His spiritual fluctuations had also disappeared. Grief filled Li Qi. He was unable to accept having a brother, whom he had fought alongside with for so many years through life and death, fall right in front of him. He's not dead. Protect his body, and especially his sword. Just at this moment, Menki's voice rang out. Of everyone here, Menki's spiritual strength was the strongest. At first, she had also been shocked that Yu Zifeng would do something like this. It still wasn't the time to drag enemies down at the cost of their own lives. But she quickly realized that with his last attack, Yu Zifeng's soul and even his life had merged into his sword. That was what had allowed him to unleash such shocking power. Right now, his soul and life energy were all within his sword, while his body had become a husk. As for why he had done such a thing, no one knew. But no matter what, for him to slay so many corrupt soul transformation experts right at the start had greatly lessened the pressure on the others. The rate at which the Zhuanshan Dao sect's kings were dying had slowed down greatly. Men Qi's words delighted everyone. Li Qi hastily summoned a coffin and placed Yu Zifeng and his sword carefully inside. Just like that, he carried the coffin on his back. At this time, Bao Buping and Chang Hao were stupefied. First, it was Guo Ran, Meng Qi, and Tang Wan are attacking. Then it was Wild, Yu Zifeng, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan displaying such shocking power. They almost couldn't believe it. Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, Wang Zhen. Mu Kingsuan, Su Mo, and the others were also fighting all out. Their battle power was also immense. Looking at these powerful figures, Bao Buping and Chang Hao felt like they had become ordinary people. They were no longer the peak heavenly geniuses of the heaven splitting battle sect. Fuck, brother, we have to get some face too. These are just Long Chen's subordinates, but we're his brothers, said Bao Buping stealthily to Chang Hao. Chang Hao nodded. Today, he had received quite a blow. Each of these fellows was fiercer than the last. If this continued, the two of them would just become extras. That was unacceptable. If they couldn't compare to Long Chen, then fine. After all, he was a monster. But if they couldn't even compare to the others, they wouldn't be able to show their faces again. Work together. Chang Hao and Bao Buping exchanged a glance. Through their years together. They instantly understood the other's thoughts. Scale-like runes covered their bodies as they activated the battle god blessing. Those runes became blood-colored as they also activated their spirit blood. Like angry lions, they let out a furious roar and charged at a corrupt soul transformation expert. Split the heavens for. Two huge sword images crashed toward a corrupt soul transformation expert. That expert hastily blocked. With an explosive sound, he vomited blood. But before he could go anywhere, another sword image fell, blowing him to pieces. Bao Buping and Chang Hao's cooperation was flawless. Although it looked like they had attacked at the same time, they hadn't. Chang Hao's attack went first, and its aura and light concealed Bao Buping's attack. It looked like a combination attack from the two of them. But when that corrupt soul transformation expert blocked it and relaxed ever so slightly, the second attack struck, killing him. Pfft. The first one, the second one, the third one, their huge sword images didn't reveal any clues as to how they were killing the soul transformation experts. Three of them died consecutively. The battlefield was chaotic. Although the corrupt soul transformation experts had experienced many battles, they had never seen such a bizarre battle. There was a group of foundation forging disciples killing soul transformation experts. In the distance where the reincarnation mirror was facing off with the corrupt god skull, Li Xiangxuan was calmly watching the battle below. There was no expression on his face. This result was something he had long since expected. Within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, only he was aware of the Dragonblood Legion's true power. That was the only reason he had prepared himself to consume a big piece of meat this time. Compared to Li Xiangxuan's calm, the dwarf's expression was growing more and more unsightly. After calculating and preparing things, he had still fallen into Li Xiangxuan's scheme. At this time, the dwarf looked toward a distant location in the sky, a place that was covered in white ripples. It was Long Chen and Ji Yui Yan's battlefield. Right now, the situation was already unfavorable to the corrupt path. They had no more trump cards to reverse things. 
It was up to Ji Yuai Yan, Chapter 1292 Ominous Translator, Born to Be Boom. Long Chen's fist collided with Ji Yuai Yan's. Space rippled violently from the collision, but the white runes that formed this separate battlefield were not affected by their power. There was no sign of them breaking. In their first exchange, both Long Chen and Ji Yuai Yan's bodies shook from each other's power. They had drawn in this first exchange. Your power's not bad, but a battle isn't decided through just brute force. Ji Yuai Yan's fist suddenly transformed into a claw, and he attacked Long Chen's fist. He changed moves astonishingly quickly. Ji Yuai Yan was clearly someone with great battle experience. When his fist transformed into a claw, his fingernails actually grew over an inch with flashing runes. They became incomparably sharp. However, Long Chen coldly snorted and didn't retreat. Instead, he once more let out a punch. But this time, green scales covered his fist. Bang! A few streaks of blood appeared on Long Chen's fist. Even his scales were unable to completely block Ji Yuai Yan's sharp blow. At the same time as he sent out this punch, Long Chen launched a lightning-like kick at Ji Yuai Yan. It was so fast that it caught him off guard, but Ji Yuai Yan narrowly managed to avoid his life rod meeting a grisly fate. However, Long Chen's kick still managed to strike his abdomen. He was blown back, feeling a burst of pain. Long Chen looked at his bleeding fist, surprised. Ji Yuai Yan's claw was even sharper than a king item. It could even break the defenses of his dragon scales. If Ji Yuai Yan hadn't been able to use his full power with his claw thanks to his kick, his fist would probably be a bloody pulp right now. As for Ji Yuai Yan, he was just as surprised as Long Chen. This move of Long Chen had been too bizarre, and very dangerous as a result. If he had allowed Long Chen's kick to strike his life rod, that pain would affect his combat power. That would have been troublesome. You have a few tricks. But that doesn't mean you have the qualifications to challenge me. I'll let you see the true power of a rank 9 celestial. The nine flowers around Ji Yuai Yan were originally just flower buds. But now, they slowly bloomed. Each flower had nine petals. And each petal had nine veins. Nine nines represented the pinnacle of heaven and earth. The world suddenly seemed to bend toward Ji Yuai Yan. It was like he became the ruler of this space as if all the energy of the world had been sucked dry by him. All the experts fighting in the distance looked up in horror. Whether they were from the righteous or corrupt path, they could clearly feel their heavenly Tao energy suddenly dropping. Clearly, all the heavenly Tao energy was rushing toward Ji Yuai Yan. They weren't able to get even half of what they normally had. Since everyone was a celestial, they were all equally weakened, making it so that the power difference between them didn't change. But there were a few unlucky fellows. Those were the corrupt soul transformation experts fighting Wild. Their power had dropped, while Wild wasn't affected at all. With just one swing of Wild's club, they were no longer able to hold on. The originally balanced battle was immediately flipped. Wild killed seven corrupt soul transformation experts in just a moment. This caused a huge disturbance amongst the corrupt experts and over a dozen of them immediately went to focus on Wild. Just like this, the pressure on the Zhuanshan Dao sect side lessened once more. However, the corrupt path still had too many soul transformation experts. But now, the morale between the two sides had completely changed. The corrupt path had been given bloody blows time and time again. Their experts slain. Their morale had dropped. After all, they had held such an absolute advantage at the very start when it had just been Long Chen and the Heaven Splitting Battle Sects people trapped in their formation. They had been like turtles in a jar that could have been killed at any moment. But then Li Xiangxuan had suddenly appeared. Bit by bit, their advantage was taken away. Now they were evenly matched. And calling themselves evenly matched was just a way to comfort themselves. It was true if you just looked at the surface of things. But in truth. The righteous path had lost very few people so far, while the corrupt path had suffered heavy losses. The thing that reduced their morale the most was that they no longer had any trump cards to reverse the tides. They could only continue fighting like this. This was a kind of torture to them. As for the righteous side, they had only encountered pleasant surprise after pleasant surprise. The display of their heavenly geniuses had completely ignited their morale, bringing their combat power to the peak. 
the corrupt side saw that and knew that it didn't bode well. If some marvelous figure could also appear on their side and give their enemies a stunning counterattack, even if it was just killing one or two of their geniuses, the morale would balance out. Regretfully, no such figure appeared. Although the corrupt side also had rank 8 celestials, compared to the vicious figures of the Dragonblood Legion, they were worthless. Now the corrupt side was in a passive position. They were waiting for a chance, and most of their hopes lay in the battle up in the sky. Up in the sky, Gui Yan's nine flowers fully bloomed around him. Each flower was nine feet long, forming a huge flower ring behind him. That terrifying pressure contained the will of heaven and earth. That was something others wouldn't even dare to face. Do you see? This is the true heavenly Tao manifestation of a rank nine celestial. Nine flowers manifest the heavenly Daos. Each flower, each vein, each piece of it represents a Tao. Together, it comprises all the Daos. And in front of it, even heaven and earth must submit. Just what will you take out to fight me? Gui Yan indifferently stared at Long Chen like a ruler looking at a commoner. This was Gui Yan's confidence. Any celestial would have to submit in front of a rank 9 celestial. This was the will of the heavens, the heavenly deos. If you didn't submit, you would be killed. If it was an ordinary rank 8 celestial facing Gui Yan, they would probably be trembling in terror. That was because this pressure came from the heavenly deos, let alone fighting. Just being able to stand steadily would be not bad. But unfortunately for Gui Yan, this kind of heavenly Tao pressure was useless against Long Chen. This pressure was artificial, created by a mere person. Long Chen had faced heavenly punishment over and over again. That represented the true laws of heaven and earth. Even in the face of heavenly punishment, Long Chen hadn't submitted. This kind of pressure was nothing more than a fart to him. Seeing Gui Yan attempt to use his heavenly Tao pressure to make him submit, Long Chen's lips curled into an icy smile. He sighed. Since you're my opponent, I'd advise you not to use this kind of manifestation. Oh, why is that? Asked Gui Yan. Because it's very ominous. What are you talking about? Do you really not know? Or are you just acting dumb? Don't you know that flower wreaths are used for the dead? Having summoned such a huge wreath for yourself. Do you not feel like you're asking for death? Long Chen pointed to the huge flower ring behind Gui Yan. Long Chen wasn't speaking quietly, and many of the people on the battlefield below were stealthily paying attention to their battle up above. So practically everyone heard him. Boss really is the boss. This comparison is truly alike. Yes, it really is alike. Guo Ran was wielding his crossbow and constantly sneak attacking corrupt soul transformation experts to give others the chance to kill them. But he didn't forget to cheer. The others also looked strangely at the flower ring behind Gui Yan. Honestly speaking, its shape was truly similar. Of course, if there were a few poles connecting them all, it would look even more similar. Ignorant fool, you're blaspheming the heavenly deos. I'll show you a power that you couldn't obtain even if you cultivated for 10,000 years. Gui Yan was infuriated. Long Chen was actually mocking the rank 9 celestial status that he was most proud of. Binding of the heavenly deos, the runes of Gui Yan's manifestation lit up, and heaven and earth shook. An invisible energy locked Long Chen down. Long Chen's expression immediately changed. He suddenly felt like space had turned solid around him. He couldn't move. Now you should know how amazing rank 9 celestials are. Idiot. How dare you mock my grand Dao flowers. Gui Yan sneered upon seeing Long Chen's expression change. He sent a hand for his neck. Green dragon battle armor. Just as Gui Yan's hand was about to reach him, Long Chen let out a low cry. Pow. A hand covered in green scales swung out in a profound and beautiful arc, slapping Gui Yan across the face, making him let out a pained groan as he shot back like a shooting star. He crashed into the border of this separate battle space. But curiously, the barrier around this space stretched a bit and then bounced him back. It wasn't damaged at all. Boss is mighty. Long Chen's slap completely stunned the corrupt experts. Only Guo Ran immediately cheered. Guo Ran knew that Long Chen was the soul of the Dragonblood Legion. Any of his actions could raise the morale of the Dragonblood Warriors. Boss is mighty, as expected. 
the Dragonblood warriors all let out an explosive shout. This slap of Long Chen's caused their morale to soar. In their hearts, Long Chen was an undefeatable god, but his opponent was a terrifying rank 9 celestial who could suppress all other heavenly geniuses. Even at this great distance, they sensed immense pressure from him. However, Long Chen didn't care about celestial rank. No matter what, he could still send people flying with a slap in the face. This made their confidence soar. Their worries were wiped out by this slap. The Dragonblood warriors completely forgot about Long Chen and focused on slaughtering their opponents. This was a rare opportunity to rack up merit. It would strengthen the Zhuanshan Dao sect as well as the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen, if I don't skin you, rip out all your muscles, carve out your heart, and refine your soul. I, Gui Yan, will swear I'm not human. Gui Yan let out a furious roar. The flowers behind him shook as he once more shot at Long Chen with unprecedented killing intent. Chapter 1293 Soaring Morale Translator Born to be the current Gui Yan was like a furious lion. With all the surrounding heavenly Tao energy wrapped around him, it seemed even the heavens were infuriated. In Gui Yan's life, his first humiliation was brought about by Len Yuian. But Len Yuian was a woman he wanted to pursue and even being cut by her couldn't erase his adoration for her. In the corrupt path, power was everything. Len Yuian wasn't just stunningly beautiful. She also possessed an innate grandness that made it so others wouldn't dare to blaspheme her. But most importantly, her power was enough to shake the corrupt path. She swept through anyone in the same realm. Being defeated by her was something Ji Yuai Yan could accept. But he couldn't accept that Len Yuian's heart contained the image of Long Chen. From her words, she clearly viewed Long Chen highly. So he had come today in order to humiliate Long Chen and prove that he was thousands upon thousands of times stronger than him. He was a supreme heavenly genius, a rank 9 celestial, someone who could look down on all other celestials. But he had been slapped in the face by Long Chen. It was a completely intolerable humiliation. Long Chen. I'll make you live a life worse than death. Gui Yan roared. His fist was enveloped by powerful runes. This punch caused space to be smashed apart. With all the heavenly Tao energy in the surroundings supporting him, this fist had definitely reached a kind of pinnacle in power. This was no longer just Gui Yan's attack. It was the attack of heaven and earth. This grand ambition of yours is doomed to fail. Long Chen's eyes blazed with battle intent. His 108,000 immortal platforms and four Qi Cs all revolved. Long Chen no longer held back any power either, and he sent out a punch. Boom. This was a world-shaking collision. Qi waves and astral wind surged out, striking the edges of this battle space. In an instant, the original battle space inflated to ten times its original size. But even so, the white barrier around them didn't break, seeing it expand like a balloon. The people fighting below were all shocked. Although the formation was blocking the real power from reaching them, just the pressure they felt from up there gave them a sensation of mortal danger. The corrupt soul transformation experts were especially shocked. Although they had seen Long Chen fighting the ancient races and the Pill Tower soul transformation experts, they hadn't felt him to be so powerful. Instead, they had thought that the Righteous Paths experts were too stupid and easily toyed with. But now when they saw Long Chen's full power, they realized that Long Chen hadn't been fighting seriously before. In truth, at that time, Long Chen hadn't dared to fight all out, because accidentally touching the Sovereign Blood Seal would be a far too sullen death. Now he didn't have any more misjivings. Now that they saw his true power, the Corrupt Paths experts finally understood why Heavenly Genius is as powerful as Wild. Kuo Ran, Yu Zifeng, Meng Qi. Tang Wanur, and the others would all be willing to follow Long Chen. This display completely showed them how Long Chen was able to lead such a powerful legion. Even rank 8 celestials would be completely suppressed by rank 9 celestials, not having the slightest ability to resist. But Long Chen, someone who wasn't even a celestial, was actually fighting evenly with Gui Yan. He could only be called a monster. In the first exchange, neither of them had an advantage. Long Chen and Gui Yan both roared and exchanged a fierce tempest of blows. Each attack was a shocking one capable of shattering mountains. 
unleashing an ear-splitting explosive sound that caused the stars to shudder. This was a clash of pure power without any technique. They were completely focused on fighting with power. Each collision was like the eruption of a volcano. Runes whirled through the air and astral winds exploded. The people below were only able to vaguely see two figures continuously clashing. What terrifying power. Just what kind of monster is Long Chen? Just by relying on his physical strength, he can contend with the power of the heavenly deos. One of the corrupt path soul transformation experts looked up with shock. Currently, Long Chen had his 3000 meter divine ring behind him, and his body was covered in scales. None of his movements contained the fluctuations of heavenly daruns. He was relying entirely on brute force. The will of the heavens was clearly crashing onto Long Chen. That pressure had reached the realm that they could even see it with their eyes. Anyone else would have had no choice but to kneel in the face of this pressure. They wouldn't dare to move in the face of the heaven's might. But Long Chen's divine ring seemed to push away heaven and earth, resisting the heavenly Tao pressure. Furthermore, Long Chen's own will erupted, a will that was domineering and undefeatable. He didn't submit in the slightest in the face of the heavenly Deos. Each of his attacks contained the determination to break apart the shackles of heaven and earth. With each attack, Long Chen wasn't just attacking Gui Yan. He was also attacking the heavenly Deos. Is he trying to defy the heavens? The corrupt experts were deeply shaken by this sight. To fight against the heavens will was provoking the heavenly Deos. Even though they were so far away, even soul transformation experts were feeling quite a bit of pressure. It could be imagined just how terrifying the pressure on Long Chen was. Boss is undefeatable. Brothers, after chasing Boss for so many years, we should also win some face for Boss. Kill. Kill these corrupt bastards. Affected by Long Chen, Guo Ran suddenly charged into the midst of the corrupt experts, wielding golden blades. He actually gave up directing people. That was because he had noticed there was no longer any need for directions. The Dragonblood Legion had the 50 healing experts to protect them, so they weren't in any danger. In a battle of soul transformation experts, his crossbow's killing power was limited. He had tried several times to save the lives of some dying elders, but he hadn't been able to do that. After seeing several elders being killed without being able to stop it, his fury soared. Some of these elders were the ones he knew. The sight of Long Chen fighting against the heavens provoked Guo Ran and he couldn't hold back any longer. He directly charged at the corrupt soul transformation experts. One of those corrupt soul transformation experts snorted and blocked Guo Ran's blades with a truncheon. He had just been considering how he should cut down this irritating fellow when Guo Ran actually sent himself to him. With a cold smile, he was just about to attack when tiny holes suddenly opened on Guo Ran's chest. Dozens of black needles shot out. The corrupt expert was startled. At this range, there was no way to block. He hastily dodged to the side. But Guo Ran had timed his attack very well. And no matter where the corrupt expert went, he would be struck by at least one. As expected, one of those needles pierced his arm. But its power wasn't that great. And it didn't possess any killing power. The corrupt expert had only just sighed with relief when his expression suddenly changed. He was shocked to find that his body had turned numb and he couldn't move. Poison. Pfft. Guo Ran severed that expert's head. Before the head could fall, his other blade blew it apart. Brothers, use the blood of these corrupt experts to temper our glory. Kill. Guo Ran roared. Combined with how he had just killed a soul transformation expert, he looked just like a mighty general. It was extremely grand. Kill. Every member of the Dragonblood Legion roared at the same time, their morale once more surging. At this time, they had been fighting for a whole four hours. Such a high-intensity battle should have long since started to exhaust them. But the Dragonblood warriors were like untiring killing machines. They continued to fight as fiercely as ever. Damn it. How could this happen? The corrupt dwarf suddenly let out a furious shout. The veins on his forehead bulging. This battle was not going as he had expected at all. The corrupt path's disciples were being slaughtered by the Dragonblood warriors. With their morale so low, a third of their number had been killed in just four hours. Only 20,000 of them remained. The most unacceptable thing was that the Dragonblood Legion still had zero casualties. Not one of them had died. 
Could this even count as a bloody battle? One reason for the zero casualties was the king item armor Guo Ran had forged for them, while another was the protection of the 50 healing experts that allowed them to avoid disaster time and time again. Other than those two points, the Dragonblood warriors also had great battle experience and were skilled in cooperating, not giving their opponents any chance to kill them. Although the Dragonblood warriors were only rank 5 celestials, they were like tigers even when they came up against rank 6 and rank 7 corrupt celestials. The corrupt disciples were forced back miserably. As for the rank 8 celestials, they were being targeted by Menchi and Tang Wanur. That was to avoid any accidents. As for the soul transformation battlefield, they had over 270 experts left, and were also at a disadvantage. That made the dwarf extremely anxious. Right now, all his hopes lay with Ji Yui Yan, but he was still fighting evenly with Long Chen. There was practically no chance of him killing Long Chen in the short term. That made the dwarf feel like he was being tortured as he watched. Buzz. Suddenly, the reincarnation mirror's light intensified. Li Xiangxuan calmly looked at the dwarf. Don't try to think of anything. Just calmly watch. With me here. Don't embarrass yourself by trying to bring out your little tricks. Clearly, the dwarf had just been thinking of how to intervene, but he couldn't escape Li Xiangxuan's control. He didn't succeed. Seeing his army of experts being killed one by one, he suddenly roared. Ji Yui Yan, hurry up and use your trump card to kill Long Chen. Chapter 1294 Exchanging Injury for Injury Translator Born to be the corrupt dwarf's shout caused the surrounding space to shake. He was truly panicked now. The corrupt path was currently at an extreme disadvantage. Although they still outnumbered the righteous path two to one, their morale was at rock bottom. The more time that passed, the greater their disadvantage would be. The righteous path's morale was soaring, and their attacks were constantly growing sharper. They were gradually pushing the corrupt path to even more desperate straits. The corrupt path was famed for their brutality, their viciousness, but in the face of the even fiercer Dragonblood Legion, they were like a herd of sheep. The main reason they didn't turn tail and flee was because of the corrupt path's harsh punishments. If they were captured after fleeing, they would go through torture that was worse than death. The corrupt path couldn't go, while the righteous path naturally wouldn't let them go. So there was no way out for them. Whenever such a battle started, they had to put their lives on the line. This was the reason the corrupt path's experts were so crazy and brutal. Most of the time, the fierce brutality of theirs was shown intentionally to increase the psychological pressure on the righteous path. But this kind of psychological pressure had no effect on the Dragonblood Legion that had gone through countless life and death battles. The corrupt dwarf had seen through that, which was why he was panicking. After losing so many people, not even the corpses he had gained could make up for their losses. Now he regretted that he hadn't fled at the beginning. At least, they would have remained whole. As for now, whether or not they could make up for their losses depended on whether Ji Yui Yan could defeat Long Chen. More accurately, it depended on whether Ji Yui Yan could defeat him quickly. After all, with each passing moment, the number of casualties on the corrupt path side increased. You don't need to waste the effort. That space is created from a fragment of the ancient battlefield. Even life star experts can't barge in. Although it looks like they're right there, they're actually in a separate space. Your voice won't reach them, said Li Xiangxuan, kindly explaining the situation. Shut up. Don't act like you've already won. It's not certain who will be the final winner, raged the dwarf. He had already gotten enough of Li Xiangxuan's calm appearance. Now he was a bit afraid. He felt like compared to Li Xiangxuan, he was just an idiot whose thoughts could be read easily. He had fallen for Li Xiangxuan's trap time after time. There was nothing he could do to Li Xiangxuan. He was completely tied up with him. That calm appearance of his infuriated him. Explosive sounds continued to come from the separate space. Ji Yui Yan was crazily fighting Long Chen. His nine flowers revolved, and a sea of runes surged around him. Long Chen's divine ring was unleashing a powerful pressure that continued to contend with the will of the heavenly deos. His 108,000 immortal platforms continued to revolve as he fought all out. With their immense power, each of their exchanges caused shocking explosions. 
After fighting at such intensity for hours, their auras became even fiercer, and their attacks became even more vicious. Ji Yui Yan's claw reached toward Long Chen's throat. Long Chen shifted back to take it with his shoulder. His scale shattered and his shoulder was turned into a bloody pulp. The injury was deep enough that they could see bone, but at the same time, the runes on Long Chen's boot lit up, and he sent a kick to Ji Yui Yan's ribs. With a clear cracking sound, Ji Yui Yan's ribcage was broken, and he was sent flying, vomiting a mouthful of blood. Even his internal organs were injured. HMPH, I'm a celestial and can heal with heavenly Tao energy. If you want to exchange injury for injury, I'll crush you like a dog. Ji Yui Yan was kicked back, but by circulating his heavenly Tao energy, his injury instantly healed. With a sneer, he shot back at Long Chen. Who cares if you're a celestial? I can kill you all the same, snorted Long Chen. His fists danced as he fought Ji Yui Yan. Long Chen had no choice but to admit that Ji Yui Yan was truly powerful. Fortunately, he himself wasn't a celestial. Otherwise, he would be under an even greater natural suppression. After fighting for so long, neither one of them was able to suppress the other. Their fighting style gradually became even more ruthless and bloodier. The sound of flesh being struck rang out over and over. The melody of bones breaking and fresh blood spurting continued. The two of them began a brutal battle of exchanging injury for injury. Ji Yui Yan's claws were extremely sharp, and even Long Chen's dragon scales weren't able to block them. He became covered in blood. On the other hand, Ji Yui Yan's clothes were still in perfect condition. It looked like Long Chen was much more miserable. Ji Yui Yan, you fool. He's intentionally using up your heavenly Tao energy, roared the corrupt dwarf. He was a wily old fox and immediately saw through the clues. Although Long Chen looked wretched, he was only covered in external injuries. As for Long Chen, he was always giving Ji Yui Yan internal injuries. Ji Yui Yan was using up 10 times the amount of energy Long Chen was to heal. But Long Chen didn't bat an eye, and Ji Yui Yan didn't sense this. So the corrupt dwarf became even more anxious. I've already reminded you. Li Xiangxuan shook his head. Shut up. I know he can't hear me, but I like to shout. So what roared the dwarf like a beast? Ah, all right, you can continue. But I should warn you, shouting like this will cause your corrupt path's morale to drop. After all, you're their leader. You should control yourself and look at ease, or your side will lose confidence. Other than that, another important thing is that, your shouting is very unpleasant to listen to. A person should have a sense of honor and shame, said Li Xiangxuan kindly. You, the corrupt dwarf almost coughed up blood. Just at this moment, the reincarnation mirror's light brightened, and he hastily controlled the corrupt god skull to block. But due to his distracted state of mind, the reincarnation mirror took the advantage. It was starting to suppress the corrupt god skull. The corrupt dwarf suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood that landed on the corrupt god skull. Having received his essence blood, the corrupt god skull brightened and an evil aura soared. Its power rose a level, stopping the reincarnation mirror's suppression and returning them to an even state. The dwarf was ashen, but he no longer dared to speak. There was nothing wrong with Li Xiangxuan's words. As the leader of his corrupt side, each of his movements could affect their morale. If he started shouting his worries, his corrupt experts would know he had no tricks left up his sleeve and it would cause their confidence to crumble. This kind of thing was something he had actually needed his enemy to remind him of, that made him feel like he was about to go crazy. If Li Xiangxuan dared to remind him of this, it meant that everything was within his control. It was like the two of them were playing chess, and Li Xiangxuan had actually told the dwarf how he should play. And most terrifying of all, he had no choice but to follow his instructions. It could be imagined what the conclusion of such a game would be. Currently, although he was so anxious it felt like his heart was burning, he had no choice but to shut his mouth. With him shutting up, Li Xiangxuan finally no longer had to hear his ugly voice. Although Li Xiangxuan looked calm, he was actually extremely emotional inside over the power that Long Chen, Guo Ran, Wild, Yu Zifeng, Meng Qi, Tang Wan'er, and the others had displayed. They were all top heavenly geniuses. 
No one would have expected that such people had come from a desolate place like the eastern wasteland. And even there, they had been average people with only ordinary talent. Li Xiangxuan had personally seen the Dragonblood Legion soar, but even so, he almost couldn't believe it. Seeing these heavenly geniuses fighting intensely against soul transformation experts, he suddenly had a grand aspiration. He knew that the chance for the Zhuangshan Dao sect to rise had come. He had to grasp this chance to restore the Zhuangshan Dao sect to its former glory, and an even greater height. But right now, the soul transformation battlefield had entered a stalemate. Both sides were bone-tired from this high-intensity battle. Whether it was their spiritual yuan, their physical energy, or their mental energy, they were all starting to fall Novaloon.com The corrupt path currently had less than 200 soul transformation experts. As for the Zhuangshan Dao sect side, they had lost 17 soul transformation experts. However, 500 of their kings had also perished, and they had less than 300 remaining. It had been precisely due to the high death rate of the kings that Yu Zifeng had directly raised his power to the greatest possible point and cut down as many corrupt soul transformation experts as he could. The majority of the casualties had died at the start of the battle. It was due to Yu Zifeng, Wild, Bao Buping, Chang Hao, and the others launching all-out attacks that the kings finally got some breathing room. Otherwise, they would have been immediately suppressed by the corrupt path instead of slowly turning things around. Most of the kings had died to protect the Zhuangshan Dao sect's geniuses. That was because they knew that these geniuses possessed high killing power, but their defensive power was unable to bear a single attack from a soul transformation expert. For example, people like Meng Qi, Tang Wan or Hua Xiaoyu, or Zhao Ziyan would be instantly killed if an attack struck them. That was why many kings had sacrificed themselves to protect them. Their deaths had won opportunities for those geniuses to kill a large amount of corrupt soul transformation experts. That was enough for them to smile on their way to the Yellow Springs. Although the soul transformation battlefield looked even now, the advantage was still tilted toward the Zhuangshan Dao sect that was because of Wild. His power was the greatest here, and if the corrupt experts were the slightest bit careless, they would be killed by a smash of his club. Wilde had killed over 50 soul transformation experts by himself. As he fought, he munched on something. Those things looked like tiny dried fish. But in reality, they were rank 9 sea demons. They were the rations Wilde had collected during the Battle of the Eastern Sea. At that time, he had killed so many rank 9 sea demons that he hadn't even finished all his stockpile yet. And since such a huge battle was extremely exhausting, he was constantly eating them as he fought. These little fish had been shrunk by a formation. Their actual bodies were huge, and they transformed into a huge amount of energy once Wild ate them, allowing him to forever maintain his peak combat power. Boom. Long Chen and Ji Yui Yan once more exchanged injury for injury. A hunk of flesh had been torn from Long Chen's arm. While Long Chen had smashed a hole into Ji Yui Yan's chest, causing him to vomit blood. Bastard, you dare to scheme against me. Ji Yui Yan glared at Long Chen, finally having realized something. Chapter 1295 The True Essence of Split the Heavens Translator Born to be after such a long and intense battle, after continuously receiving injuries, the iron spruce oaks in Long Chen's primal chaos space had long since withered. Fortunately, he still had quite a bit of the divine life elixir from the Eastern Sea battle. As long as he didn't suffer internal injuries, a single drop could fully heal him. Each time his injuries accumulated to the point that they started to affect him, he would stealthily swallow a drop to heal. Ji Yui Yan was completely focused on injuring Long Chen. He delighted in seeing Long Chen's blood splashing. As for the injuries he suffered, he didn't care. He simply used heavenly Tao energy to heal each time. But after fighting for so long, he finally realized something was off. He found that his heavenly Tao energy had dropped by over 30% without him even knowing it. Furthermore, the flowers behind him had dimmed slightly. Now he realized that when Long Chen fought him, he always chose to exchange external injuries for internal injuries. If the situation only allowed him to exchange internal injuries, he would dodge and find a way to make it an external injury for internal injury. When this occurred again, 
Ji Yui Yan finally realized the truth. He glared at Long Chen, flames raging in his eyes, clenching his fists. He spat out through clenched teeth. Long Chen, you dare to scheme against me? What childish words. I have no way to reply. Long Chen shook his head. There really was no way to reply to such a stupid question. Your despicable righteous path only knows how to play these sinister schemes. How are you fit to be called cultivators? Rage Gui Yan. Fool. After losing, you just start cursing. Do you think that's the conduct of a cultivator? Aren't you the pot calling the kettle black? Your corrupt path is just a bunch of idiots who think themselves infallible. As for your corrupt god, he's definitely a delusional maniac. If I have a chance, I'll slap that idiot to death. Sneered Long Chen. Blasphemer of the corrupt god. Face your death. Gui Yan suddenly roared and took out a blood-colored spear. Blood-colored runes lit up along it. The wails of countless ghosts rang out in Long Chen's ears, causing his heart to turn cold. Clearly, this was a corrupt weapon refined from the flesh and souls of countless experts. An inestimable amount of grievance and resentment was contained within it, capable of easily affecting a person's soul and mind. Even a delusional maniac dares to call themselves a god? It's not that I'm looking down on him, but I really look down on him. Long Chen also took out his weapon. Blood Drinker slashed through the air. Bang. Just as Blood Drinker and the spear collided, it was like something had exploded. Space twisted, and something tried to pierce through Long Chen's forehead. Long Chen immediately felt a burst of pain. Long Chen was shocked. This spear was definitely strange. When he touched it, it would unleash a spiritual attack aimed at his mind. See? Just at this moment, Long Chen instinctively used his left arm to defend his waist. He had only just done this when he was blown back. The pain in his head faded and everything returned to normal. Gui Yan once more shot at him. Long Chen instantly realized that this spear contained a special formation. Once touched, it would attack a person's mind C, temporarily slowing their reaction speed. Just now, if it hadn't been for his instinctive reaction, that spear would have smashed into his waist. That would have definitely been a heavy injury. Fortunately, he had an arm protector to block it. But the great power behind it caused his arm to feel a bit numb. Long Chen repeatedly flashed back seven steps. The runes on his boots lighting up. With each step, he retreated 3,000 meters. And he always retreated at a strange angle that made Gui Yan's attack miss. Split the heavens three. A huge saber image tore through space at Gui Yan. Boom. Gui Yan received the blow as he fell back. But as he retreated, he sneered. Did you think creating some distance between us would save you? My power isn't dependent on a martial weapon. Buzz. The spear suddenly began to shine. And the nine flowers behind him quivered slightly. Nine streams of energy that could be seen with the naked eye slowly poured into the spear quivering it as the miserable cries of thousands of ghosts rang out, looking at his spear. Gui Yan icily said, this spear is called Siguachoya. In the corrupt language, it means bloodthirsty fiend. It was forged three years ago, and I'm the one who gave it its name. This spear has absorbed all the flesh and spiritual strength of the experts I've slain in the past three years, and 70% of them came from your righteous path. It has already absorbed millions of their souls and bodies. Today, I will completely unleash its power. Once I use up all of its energy, its memory will also be wiped clean. Then the first blood it will taste will be yours. That's the only way it has any meaning. Siguachoya can also enter a new age. Gui Yan's spear quivered more intensely until it was like a volcano about to explode. At the same time, countless illusory images appeared around it letting out painful shrieks. Those were the memories of the spear, the people it had slain. That was their unwillingness and anger right before dying. Countless images appeared, layering on top of each other. Each of those images represented the life of an expert. That's why I said your corrupt path is a bunch of idiots who think themselves infallible. You think you can do whatever you want if you have power. Toward people like you, the only thing to do is slaughter you to the last. Long Chen coldly stared at Gui Yan and raised Blood Drinker. A saber image tore into the sky. A will filled the world. This will was a will that would slash through worlds. A will that looked down arrogantly at others. In front of that will, 
the heavens were nothing more than a target to slash. When this will spread, several people immediately reacted. Bao Buping and Chang Ha raised their heads, looking up at the huge saber image with shock. In the distance, in a practically forgotten corner, there was a battlefield where space was constantly crumbling. This was the battlefield of the Life Star experts. Liu Kang, the tower department head, and the seven bosses were fighting all out. The nine of them were fighting 18 corrupt Life Star experts. There were still no casualties on this battlefield. Life Star experts were too strong and had greater endurance. Although the righteous side was at a disadvantage, there was currently no danger of them losing. However, the bosses were a bit irritated. If they hadn't used up so much energy fighting the bastards from the Pill Tower and ancient races, they definitely wouldn't be suppressed now. This is, while they were fighting, this will reach them. The others didn't react to it, but the boss's hearts shook. This will was far too familiar to them. It was the will of split the heavens. This is the true meaning of split the heavens. The seventh boss's eyes lit up as he realized something. Yes, this is its true will. Split the heavens. It doesn't mean to split apart heaven and earth. It means to split all restrictions, all laws. It means to break all bindings to live free. Boss Ba was also excited by this, because they didn't have the upper portion of the heaven splitting divine tablet. The will of split the heavens hadn't been passed down over the years. Therefore, their understanding of split the heavens had already started to deviate. Although others had also once proposed that split the heavens had another kind of will. No one like Long Chen had appeared to personally demonstrate it. Long Chen was someone who loathed the heavens. Now that he used split the heavens, he also displayed his contempt for heaven and earth's laws. He was fighting back against the heavens, and the essence of split the heavens was to cut through all restrictions. Otherwise, it wouldn't possess such a powerful barrier-breaking effect. Realizing this, the bosses were ecstatic. Sword Chi suddenly exploded from their weapons. Having been enlightened, their fighting prowess became even more domineering and imposing. They actually began to suppress their enemies. Within the separate space, Long Chen was unaware of this. All he felt was hatred and killing intent. In his eyes, the heavenly deos were garbage. There were people of the corrupt path that were so evil that they slaughtered others, snuffing out lives. If such people were also fit to be blessed by the heavenly deos, didn't that prove the heavens were blind? Right now, the heavenly deos were rejecting him while giving all their energy to Ji Yuai Yan. Seeing the power of those resentful ghosts in Sigu Achoya and the heavenly Dao flowers behind Ji Yuai Yan constantly giving it more power, Long Chen was full of killing intent. That killing intent wasn't just targeted toward Ji Yuai Yan, but also the heavenly deos. 10,000 ghosts hunt the soul. Sigu Achoya had already stored up as much power as possible. It suddenly shook and unleashed a huge spear image at Long Chen. It was like a divine spear. Wherever it passed, space became muddled. It appeared absolutely overwhelming. Split the heavens for a huge saber image slashed down like a heavenly blade that could cut through the river of stars. This was their first time unleashing their ultimate moves in this battle. The experts below all looked up in horror. Boom. The spear image crashed together with the saber image and the entire world shook as a terrifying energy spread through the formation's barriers, causing suffocating pressure to crash down. The ground began to rapidly crack. The experts fighting had no choice but to dodge. When they looked back up at the sky, they saw that the separate space in the air had turned black, and they were unable to see anything. The blackness slowly faded, revealing some kind of mist inside. Only when that mist slowly faded did they manage to see two figures. Seeing those two, everyone sucked in a cold gasp of air. Chapter 1296 Blood Drinker Parishes Translator Born to be are they monsters? Expressions of disbelief covered everyone's faces. Up in the air, Ji Yuai Yan and Long Chen were now 3,000 meters apart, looking at each other from a distance. Their bodies were covered in blood. That terrifying power had blown off a whole layer of their skin, but both their auras were still powerful. That kind of explosion was something that would even kill soul transformation experts. That was why everyone felt that those two had to be monsters. Suddenly, a cracking sound rang out. The Dragonblood warriors let out startled cries as cracks spread across Blood Drinker. Bang! Following that, 
Blood drinker shattered to pieces. Its blood red fragments fell. You, why bother? Looking at those fragments and the broken hilt in his hand, Long Chen felt a wave of grief. This treasure that had been bestowed to him by an expert of the barbarian race in the Jiuli secret realm had accompanied him in all his battles up to now. But in that final exchange, it had ignited all its power to strengthen Long Chen's attack. If Bloodrinker hadn't used up all its power for this attack, Long Chen would have suffered greatly in this exchange. After all, that Siguachoyu in Gui Yan's hands was a terrifying corrupt item that was unleashing the power it had accumulated over three years. As for Bloodrinker, it had reached its limit and could no longer advance. When it had ignited all its energy, its item spirit had sent a message to Long Chen. Although that message was unclear, Long Chen understood the general meaning. It would rather shatter as jade than live as a clay tile. Long Chen hadn't wanted to accept this, but Bloodrinker had chosen to be destroyed. It had used its final power to protect its own dignity. It would rather be destroyed in battle than be cast aside. Bloodrinker had accompanied him from the eastern wasteland to the central plains. They had gone through countless battles. Seeing Bloodrinker shatter, Long Chen felt an indescribable but familiar sorrow. After receiving that message and understanding its thought, he had no choice but to respect its decision. How surprising. A Trash King item was actually able to unleash so much power. Gui Yan's injuries were slowly healing with his Heavenly Dao energy. That exchange had truly been terrifying. And even Heavenly Dao energy wasn't able to instantly heal him. He needed some time. You're the trash. Sorry, but this debt will have to be repaid by you. Long Chen slowly gathered and put away Bloodrinker's fragments. Its item spirit had already vanished, but these fragments represented the memories of his battles alongside it. He had to protect them. Long Chen felt sorrow and hatred at the same time, but with Bloodrinker having made its decision, there was nothing he could do other than releasing this stifling feeling on someone. Although he knew that even without Gui Yan, as his power increased, Bloodrinker would have made the same choice. Long Chen was still going to make Gui Yan pay for this. Idiot. Having lost your weapon, you still say such big words. Die. Gui Yan sneered. His spear suddenly shot out like a snake striking from its cave. His spear had used up all the energy it had accumulated over three years. Now it was like a hungry beast thirsting for blood. Suddenly, a black pot appeared in Long Chen's left hand. He used it as a shield. When the spear struck the pot, Gui Yan's expression suddenly changed. He was shocked to sense the spear's item spirit project a feeling of terror. Before he could even figure out why his spear would feel terror, his vision darkened. A scion, rectangular object smashed into his face. Blood splashed, and Gui Yan let out a pained groan as his face caved in. A clear brick imprint was left on his face. This sudden change shocked everyone. They saw Long Chen holding a pot in his left hand and a cyan brick in his right hand. Countless jaws dropped. What kind of combination was this? It was truly bizarre. Bastard. What is that? Roared Gui Yan. Shockingly, the brick imprint on his face was still present. No matter how he tried to circulate his heavenly Tao energy, he was unable to heal it. It was like some mysterious energy was present on his injury that blocked his heavenly Tao energy. Only now do I find that your face is even bigger than a brick. Long Chen looked from the heaven-flipping seal to Gui Yan's injury. The brick was a standard size. And yet Gui Yan still had a bit of his chin left under the brick imprint. Gui Yan's current face was completely smashed. And it looked both comical and startling. But Gui Yan didn't feel that it was the slightest bit comical. This was a humiliation. A naked humiliation. Die. Gui Yan suddenly roared and a huge spear image shot out. This time he had learned his lesson. He no longer dared to touch the pot, and instead launched long-distance attacks. Long Chen snorted and smashed the pot forward. Gui Yan's sharp attack was destroyed by Long Chen's pot. Although he had no idea what level of weapon the pot was, he knew it was definitely the strongest item he possessed. But even now, he had no idea how he was supposed to use it. The pot's item spirit had never acknowledged him. He could only use it to smash people. He wasn't used to such a fighting style. But without Bloodrinker, he could only try using the pot. 
In just this short time, Long Chen realized that when the pot encountered magical arts, some kind of strange energy would come from the rust on its bottom. It would disintegrate part of the magical arts power and strengthen Long Chen's power, allowing him to break it. Seeing Long Chen break his magical art so easily, Ji Yui Yan's eyes narrowed. That pot in Long Chen's hand was absolutely bizarre. Taste my pot. Long Chen charged forward, the runes on his boots activating. He smashed the pot down. Ji Yui Yan stabbed his spear at the pot, but just as it was about to collide with it, the tip of the spear turned, going in a strange curve. It pierced toward Long Chen's head. The sudden change came without any warning. This sharp attack was incredibly tricky. This was the advantage of a long pole weapon. It was forcing Long Chen to dodge, and as long as he did, it would press on with a flurry of attacks. But Long Chen didn't dodge. As the spear was about to stab through his head, a brick blocked it. The sharp spear stabbed into the brick. Ji Yui Yan was shocked to see the tip of the spear shatter, and a small piece of it broke off. It had to be known that while the tip of the spear was its sharpest point, it was supported by powerful runes. To shatter it, Long Chen had to have broken all those runes first. Now Ji Yui Yan's power had sharply dropped. Just as Ji Yui Yan was feeling pain for his spear, a black pot shot toward him. Being kept at bay with the longer spear, Long Chen had actually thrown the pot. Ji Yui Yan was caught completely off guard. His spear was now too long to be used to block. He tried to raise his hand to block it. But the pot reached his head first. Bang. A huge force caused Ji Yui Yan's head to distort once more. And he almost fell unconscious as he flew back. Long Chen caught the pot and chased after him. The experts below were dumbfounded. Even Li Xiangxuan was stunned. Holding a pot in his left hand and a brick in his right hand. Long Chen was practically unstoppable. The previously mighty Ji Yui Yan was instantly suppressed. This sudden turn was too fast for them to keep up. The dwarf was even more shocked. He had never imagined that Long Chen had so many trump cards. Boss, cut down that bastard, shouted Guo Ran. Seeing him suppress Ji Yui Yan, their worries about blood drinkers end were wiped away. The dragon blood warriors didn't just watch. Now that Long Chen was counterattacking, they had to put on a good show as well. Otherwise, how would they be qualified to follow him? Although this high-intensity battle had already started to tire them, with their spiritual yuan running out, the same was true for their opponents. In fact, their opponents were even more tired than them. Most importantly, the corrupt experts were no longer able to see any hope. The only thing they could hope for was for the dwarf to announce they were retreating, but he refused to open his mouth. If the leader gave the retreat order, they wouldn't be punished for running. But if they accepted their own defeat and gave up, their punishment would be ten times worse than death. They no longer had the heart to fight. All they wanted was for the dwarf to give the order to retreat. Their only other hope, that Ji Yui Yan would kill Long Chen, was being crushed. He was being suppressed by Long Chen. And so they had given up their beautiful thoughts of Ji Yui Yan joining them to crush the enemies. As for the dwarf. He was panicking as he saw his elite warriors being cut down one by one. His heart was dripping blood, but he couldn't stop now. He had to wait until a victor was decided on Ji Yui Yan's side. In any case, so many of the corrupt experts had already died. Right now, the dwarf was like a gambler who had gone insane from losing so much. He was simply continuing to bet and lose his chips as he waited for a chance for a reversal. Right now. Everyone was secretly paying attention to the battle up in the air. Those two people were the true crux of today's battle. Wielding the pot and brick, Long Chen crazily smashed Ji Yui Yan. The boots on his feet pushed his speed to the peak, and he didn't give Ji Yui Yan any chance to get away. Ji Yui Yan roared furiously. He knew that the black pot was too strange, and he couldn't block it with his full power. With the final explosion, Ji Yui Yan's spear completely shattered. Ji Yui Yan was shocked. As he flew back after having his spear destroyed, he suddenly realized that a huge cauldron had appeared behind him without him even sensing it. It instantly swallowed him. Refined shouted Long Chen. This was the trap Long Chen had been preparing from the start. Now, Ji Yui Yan had finally fallen for it. Forming hand seals, he activated the blazing dragon cauldron's runes. 
and a huge lid formed on it, sealing Ji Yuai Yan. Explosive sounds came from inside. Clearly, Ji Yuai Yan was trying to charge out. Long Chen sneered and placed his hand on the blazing dragon cauldron. He was just about to activate the flame energy. Boom. Suddenly, the blazing dragon cauldron shook violently, and a large hole appeared in it. A huge figure charged out. Chapter 1297 Blood-Colored Skeleton Translator Born to be Long Chen couldn't help being surprised. He hadn't expected that Ji Yuai Yan would be able to break out of the Blazing Dragon Cauldron. It had to be known that the Blazing Dragon Cauldron was an ancestral item. The Blazing Dragon Cauldron's power wasn't limited by Long Chen's cultivation base since he hadn't placed a slave mark on it. Although it hadn't fully recovered yet, even a soul transformation expert shouldn't be able to break its seal. But now, a huge figure had broken through it. The pressure it emitted shook heaven and earth. Long Chen promptly put away the blazing dragon cauldron and flew back. There was a 300-meter figure in front of him. It was a skeleton that looked like each of its bones had been dyed in blood. Some kind of blood seemed to be flowing within them as well. I really never expected this. You have some power to be able to force me to summon my ghost general standing on top of the skeleton's head. Ji Yuai Yan was pale and clenching his teeth. He currently gave off an incredibly sinister feeling. As for the skeleton, it had a terrifying amount of blood chi condensed within a bone club. Space was constantly shaking in front of it. Ha ha ha, victory. Even I didn't know that Ji Yuai Yan's family's divine technique was so terrifying. He has already raised his ghost put to the ghost general rank. Long Chen's definitely dead. The corrupt dwarf suddenly burst into laughter. It was full of delight as if victory was right in front of him. Killing Long Chen isn't so simple. Li Xiang Xuan couldn't help but shake his head as he looked at the skeleton. Ha ha ha. A loser's mouth is strong. This ghost general's power is one level higher than even Ji Yuai Yan's. Now, Long Chen has long since lost his peak power. Just how will he fight back? Sneered the dwarf. Currently, Long Chen and Ji Yuai Yan's power was dropping, and their auras were also getting unsteady. They had clearly exhausted a great deal of their spiritual yuan. Based on the fact that the ghost general was even stronger than Ji Yuai Yan in his peak condition, it seemed like Long Chen truly had no chance. Li Xiang Xuan smiled faintly. I don't know how he'll fight back, but I know he won't be defeated. The dragonblood warriors who had been shocked by the dwarf's words had their worries easily brushed aside by Li Xiang Xuan's calm reply. Li Xiang Xuan's intelligence was something that everyone in the Zhuanshan Dao sect admired. There was no one else more trustworthy than him. As for the corrupt experts, their rekindled hope was extinguished by a bucket of ice water. Long Chen didn't say anything as he stared at the skeleton calmly. The more critical the situation was the calmer he became. Do you know? This ghost general is something that I started raising ever since I was born. The majority of my cultivation base has been used to nourish it. Although that slows down my cultivation speed, getting such a powerful helper is worth it. You should feel happy to be defeated by my ghost general. Unfortunately, defeating you like this won't win me any glory from Len Yuian. So as punishment, I'll be crushing your skull to pieces. Ji Yuai Yan clenched his teeth at the end, his voice full of rancor. This was completely different from his expectations. If news of this battle reached Len Yuian's ears, he would become a joke. Ji Yuai Yan's hatred for Long Chen could no longer be described with words. The thing he hated the most was that he couldn't even kill Long Chen right now. The corrupt path had sent out orders that he had to be kept alive to make sure they obtained his secrets. My skull's very hard. This grand ambition of yours will regretfully never come to pass in your lifetime, said Long Chen. Hopefully you can still act so tough in a bit. Ghost General Fusion. Ji Yuai Yan's forehead suddenly split open, and his blood condensed a runic chain that connected to the skeleton's forehead. Its forehead also split open, and Ji Yuai Yan merged within it, disappearing. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, I'll let you experience my strongest secret art. Suddenly. The skeleton spoke, its voice like grating iron. His voice was unrecognizable now, but these were Ji Yuai Yan's words. Long Chen was shocked. 
It seemed that this secret art allowed Ji Yui Yan to fuse his body and soul with this terrifying skeleton to control it. Taste my fist. The ghost general raised its fist and smashed it at Long Chen. Its power was even stronger than Ji Yui Yan in his best condition. In the face of his unavoidable fist, Long Chen could only receive it with his full power. He smashed the pot forward. The pot was fine, but Long Chen wasn't able to bear that terrifying power. Like a mosquito, he was swatted away. He crashed into the edge of the barrier and rebounded back, coughing up blood. His arms were broken in several places, and he received heavy internal injuries. He hastily swallowed a drop of the divine life elixir, but just as he was adjusting his condition, the ghost general charged forward once more. Its huge body didn't inhibit its speed at all. Another punch came, too fast to dodge. Long Chen could only raise his pot in defense again, and as a result, he was sent flying, vomiting blood. This punch was even stronger than the last. Ji Yui Yan was still adjusting to his new power after fusing with the Ghost General. The more accustomed he became, the greater the power he could unleash. Now do you know the difference between us? Can you still act so tough? Ji Yui Yan sneered and attacked once more. Long Chen blocked three times in a row and was sent flying every single time. The third time, he felt like his entire skeleton was about to shatter. The Ghost General's attacks were still getting stronger. The Ghost General's power was absolutely horrifying. Each punch could annihilate a Soul Transformation Expert. The Soul Transformation Experts were mostly Rank 5 or Rank 6 Celestials. They were not top elites amongst the Soul Transformation Realm. With the suppression of the Heavenly Deos weighing on them, the Ghost General could annihilate swaths of them. As it attacked, Heavenly Daruns began to appear on the skeleton. Clearly, Ji Yui Yan was in the process of merging with it. Even his Heavenly Dao energy was starting to strengthen it. Boom. A huge bone club suddenly smashed by Long Chen. Striking the barrier. Cracks appeared on the barrier as it was unable to bear this power. Seeing these cracks, everyone was shocked. Their previous battle hadn't been able to damage the barrier at all. But Ji Yui Yan's smash almost broke a hole in it. It could be seen how terrifying Ji Yui Yan was in his current state. Long Chen. Seeing Long Chen forced to flee miserably, Men Chi and Tang Wan'er's hearts clenched. That ghost general was too terrifying. There was no way to fight it. But Li Xiang Xuan was busy fighting the dwarf and couldn't assist. While Boss Bao and the others were also stuck in their own predicament. And even if they went to help, they wouldn't necessarily be able to break the formation Ji Yui Yan had set up. As for the others, there was even less to say about them. Right now, Long Chen could only rely on himself. No one could help him. Long Chen continuously dodged, occasionally being struck and sent flying, vomiting blood. The thing that made Long Chen the most helpless was the Ghost General's Bone Club. It was not an ancestral item. In fact, he had no idea what it was, but the pot was unable to absorb any of its energy, nor was it able to damage it. Although the pot wasn't getting damaged by its power, Long Chen had to bear the impact each time. The only good thing was that the pot's hardness was definitely transcendent. Even these terrifying attacks were at most able to cause some rust to fall from the bottom of the pot. This is no good. If the pot's ineffective, I'll have to switch weapons. Long Chen had tried several things that had been ineffective. But now, he had grasped the Ghost General's attack style. He directly put it away and took out a huge cauldron. Boom. Long Chen smashed the cauldron at the Ghost General's club. His hand split open and began to bleed. And even the blazing dragon cauldron escaped his hold and flew away. As for the Ghost General, its body rocked and it took a step back. Double dragon destruction taking advantage of this. Long Chen formed some hasty hand seals. A lightning and a flame dragon flew out, entangling the Ghost General. The two dragons lightning and flame runes exploded upon contact with the skeleton, forcing it back step by step. What startled Long Chen was that the ghost general was actually beginning to burn. Bastard, what kind of flames are these? Roared Ji Yui Yan. The runes of the ghost general began to ignite. I get it. Those blood red runes, they're condensed from souls of the dead. The soul devouring violet flame has a restrictive effect on souls which allows it to ignite them. Ah, if only Lai Long was stronger. Otherwise, 
Thunder Force would be even more effective. Long Chen immediately saw through the clues. Raging flames devour the heavens. After realizing this, he didn't hesitate. Forming new hand seals. Violet flames filled the formation. That terrifying heat looked like it could incinerate the very world. The GUI and GUI Yan is the Ghost in Ghost General. Chapter 1298 Starfall vs. Ghost Flash Translator. Born to be the space in the formation instantly became a sea of violet flames. The terrifying heat caused space to wildly twist, making it hard to see what was going on inside. Heavens, even at this time, he still has so much spiritual yuan. The experts from both the righteous and corrupt path were shocked. To fill that huge space with flames so that nobody could dodge. That was something most foundation forging experts wouldn't be able to do even in their peak state. After fighting against the ancient races, the pill tower, and such an intense fight with Gui Yan, Long Chen's spiritual Yuan should have long since been exhausted. How was he able to unleash such a huge scale attack? In truth, Long Chen's GCs were almost exhausted. Right now, he was using the spiritual Yuan in his 108,000 immortal platforms. His immortal platforms were natural spiritual Yuan reserves. Although their energy was limited, the amount within 108,000 of them was at least able to match two of his GCs. It was just that the energy within his immortal platforms couldn't be easily used. If he used up all of it, his immortal platforms would shut down. To once more activate them would be very difficult. In other words, if he used up all the spiritual Yuan in his immortal platforms, they would shut down and he would lose the power of the foundation forging realm. But right now, he couldn't bother with that. Having noticed that the soul-devouring violet flame could suppress the ghost general, he had to take advantage of it. According to normal battle tactics, he should be using small-scale attacks to wear down the ghost general with his soul-devouring violet flame in order to save as much spiritual yuan as he could. But he didn't do this. If he wanted to take advantage of this opportunity, he had to aim to kill his opponent. He couldn't give him any chance to breathe or react. Every move had some kind of weakness, and he couldn't give his opponent any time to figure out what that was. Having used raging flames devour the heavens, there was nowhere for Gui Yan to run to. Under these flames, his ghost general was being incinerated. Gui Yan was using his heavenly Tao energy to resist, but he suddenly found that doing so exhausted his heavenly Tao energy at a frightening rate. Realizing this, Gui Yan immediately shot toward Long Chen. If he wanted to resolve this, he had to cut the problem off at its source. Long Chen had long since anticipated that Gui Yan would do this. His boots once more lit up, and lightning wings appeared on his back. He rushed off, refusing to face Gui Yan head on. Bastard, if you have guts, then stop running, howled Gui Yan. He urged the ghost general to hunt Long Chen down. If you have face, then don't chase, replied Long Chen. Not running would be stupid. Although he didn't know the exact situation with this ghost general, some things were clear about it. This was clearly some kind of puppet that Gui Yan's family or his sect had spent all their efforts to make for him. It was unknown how many resources had been piled into it to make it reach such a power. This could no longer be counted as Gui Yan's personal power. Why wouldn't he run? If he hadn't exhausted so much spiritual yuan against those idiots from the ancient races and the pill tower, he also wouldn't be forced into such a miserable state. There was nothing embarrassing about it. Bastard, your righteous path is just a bunch of cowardly mice. Trash, cursed Gui Yan furiously. He was panicked and infuriated. The violet flames were exhausting his heavenly Tao energy at an alarming rate, but he had no choice. Otherwise, his ghost general's millions of runes would be incinerated. Long Chen's guess was spot on. This ghost general was something his family had prepared for him the moment he had been born. It had been forged from the bones of devilmen from outside this world. However, those bones had come from an infant, and in order to refine it into a skeleton capable of continuous advancement, Gui Yan's family had almost used up all the resources they had. Each rune on this skeleton represented the soul of an expert that had been sealed inside. Just collecting so many souls had exhausted endless manpower. 
but these runes would be incinerated upon contact with the soul devouring violet flame. What was being incinerated was the soul essence within. Once it was gone, the runes would become useless. Without the power of these runes, the ghost general would become nothing more than a skeleton. In fact, it might even instantly shatter. There was nowhere for Ji Yui Yan to go. This entire space was filled with violet flames. He had a thought to deactivate this battle space, but he was also unwilling to do so. Fuck. Just die. Ji Yui Yan roared and stopped chasing. Suddenly, all the runes on the ghost general lit up. Each of the runes became a vibrant scarlet color. Blood red light began to gather at the head of the skeleton. To put it more accurately, blood red light was gathering at its mouth, forming a small sphere. This sphere was the size of a bean at first, but as more energy condensed, it rapidly grew to the size of a fist. When this sphere appeared, the world seemed to become still, as if it had lost all sound. Long Chen felt a sensation of death grip him. He wants to decide life and death in one move? That's good too. Who's a snake and who's a dragon will be decided through this move. Long Chen stopped running, forming hand seals. His expression was completely calm. Sacred chanting suddenly filled the air. It was like gods were murmuring, shaking heaven and earth. All the violet flames in this space suddenly poured toward Long Chen. Then Long Chen held his right elbow with his left hand. His right hand was raised into the air, and a sphere rapidly condensed above it. As the Nirvana scripture circulated, the heavenly deus expulsion toward Long Chen disappeared. All the flame essence of the world was rushing toward him. It was like the Nirvana scripture was forcibly breaking Ji Yui Yan's heavenly Tao suppression and taking the flame energy from the world. It was extremely domineering. Even if you didn't want to give it to him, you still had to give it to him. Seeing this, Long Chen's confidence grew. At first, he had been worried that the Nirvana scripture would be suppressed, but now it seemed that he had been worried for nothing. With the Nirvana scripture operating at full power, Long Chen gave Huo Long the order to unleash all its might. His 108,000 immortal platforms also circulated. He knew that Ji Yui Yan's attack would be a world shaking one. He had to meet it with his full power. The sphere in Long Chen's hand continued to grow. The blood colored sphere in the mouth of the ghost general was also rapidly getting bigger. Terror filled the experts below as they sensed a feeling of death coming from those two spheres. Just what level of attack is that? The foundation forging disciples were aghast. Although they were also in the foundation forging realm, the difference between them and those two was enormous. If they were in that space, they would probably be killed just by the aura. The ghost general's attack had absorbed the energy of all the runes around it. The rest of its body became dim. But its attack was now the size of a house, and it was constantly revolving. Even without being unleashed, black cracks appeared in the space around it. Die. Ghost flash. Ji Yui Yan roared furiously. The ghost general's attack shot out at Long Chen. Starfall. Long Chen also let out a roar, and his sphere shot out like a shooting star. Long black streaks appeared in the space it passed. At this moment, time seemed to turn still. Everything became silent. The two spheres looked to be moving in slow motion. They slowly struck and devoured each other, all without any sound. Suddenly, they stopped moving and a blinding light exploded, even drowning out the sun. Long Chen hastily took out the pot and curled up behind it. Boom. The world rocked and terrifying shockwaves spread. The barrier around them was instantly annihilated. Dragonblood Legion. Collective defense. Shouted Guo Ran. The runes on his armor lit up, forming a protective barrier, but he had only just activated this barrier when he was struck by the shockwave and sent flying like a shooting star. Whether it was the soul transformation battlefield or the foundation forging battlefield, everyone gave up attacking their opponents and focused on defense. They all felt a sensation of death in the face of these shockwaves. The Dragonblood Legion followed Guo Ran's orders. They immediately formed groups of seven and their armor activated to form a huge barrier around them. Tang Wanner rushed toward Meng Chi and pulled her to the ground. A single wind blade sliced open the earth, and they charged underground. Li Qi had received Guo Ran's warning before this, and he directly rushed over to the 50 healers, summoning an earthen defense to protect them. The first shockwave reached the ground. Mud exploded into the air like a tsunami. 
spreading in every direction as it swallowed the sky. Suddenly, the only thing that could be seen was flying Earth. It was an apocalyptic scene. Once the shockwaves passed, experts began to pop up from the ground, looking around. They were too shocked to speak. Everything within 10,000 miles had been crushed. The land had become a wasteland. The scenery in front of Devil Spirit Mountain had completely changed. If they couldn't see the Sovereign Blood Seal in the distance, they'd even suspect this place was another world. The Sovereign Blood Seal still floated there without moving, as though it was just calmly watching everything that happened. Looking up at the sky, they suddenly saw a figure falling. Its boss, Gu Yang let out a cry and shot toward that figure. The person falling from the sky was Long Chen. But Gu Yang's expression quickly changed as over 10 soul transformation experts also pounced at Long Chen. Chapter 1299 Interrupted Midway Translator Born to be there were over 10 corrupt soul transformation experts where Long Chen was falling. Seeing him in his weak state covered in blood, they knew he had no energy to resist. Bastard, get away from Brother Long. Wild was already flying over, his eyes scarlet but he was too far away to get there in time. Suddenly, a bird cry rang out, and a huge rainbow-colored figure flew over, a figure that looked just like a phoenix. It was the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. It spread its wings, covering the sky. Those soul transformation experts were all killed in one attack. Cloud's aura was surging. It had gone from the early ninth rank to the peak of the ninth rank. It now possessed the aura of an ancient beast. After killing those experts, it devoured their Yuan spirits. As for Long Chen, he fell onto Cloud's back. Good job, Cloud. Kill these soul transformation experts. Long Chen was delighted. Cloud had truly come at the right time. Long Chen was covered in blood, his bones exposed. He had used up all the divine life elixir now and could no longer heal. Jumping off Cloud's back, he said, Senior Apprentice Sister Kingsuan, Healing Sisters. There's work for you to do now. Mu Kingsuin and the Dragon Blood Legion's healing experts immediately got to work, waving their staves. Their wood energy was fully unleashed as they healed Long Chen. With so many of them going all out to heal him, Long Chen's injuries slowly healed, but the healing rate was still extremely slow. This wasn't just because his body was extremely powerful and slow to heal, but also because his injuries contained heavenly Tao energy. Quickly. The battle's still not over, urged Long Chen. He saw Gui Yan's ghost general also falling. Boom. The ghost general crashed into the ground. Suddenly, countless chains shot out of it and pierced the surrounding corrupt experts. No. Those corrupt experts' expressions changed, and they let out horrified cries. But those cries quickly stopped as their bodies withered, becoming desiccated corpses. Their essence had been sucked away by the chains. Gui Yan's weakened ghost general regained its power. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's experts looked at it in shock. This was truly vicious. He even killed his own people. Over a thousand of the corrupt foundation forging experts around Gui Yan had been killed. The ghost general let out a roar and charged at Long Chen. Bastard. Don't even think of touching my brother Long Chen. Wild charged out. Smashing with his spiked club. Wild. Get back shouted Long Chen. He was most aware of just how terrifying the ghost general was. Boom. Wild's club shattered and he vomited blood, flying back like a shooting star. He disappeared from sight in an instant. Two huge mud giants appeared as Li Qi and Song Mingyuan tried to hold it back. But those two mud giants were truly just mud in front of the ghost general. A single swing of its club turned them to dust. Everyone get back. His opponent is me roared Long Chen as Gu Yang, Guo Ran, and the others flew forward. He knew that all of them would be in danger of instantly dying. They were different from Wild. They were suppressed by the heavenly Deos. The difference in power, which had already been immense, was now too great. His injuries had only half recovered, and despite all their help, his spiritual Yuan had only recovered to 10%. However, he had no choice but to go back out. Gui Yan was truly powerful and difficult to deal with. The viciousness he had displayed to his own people showed he didn't care what methods he had to use. Even his own people's lives could be stripped away. Just as Long Chen was preparing to go out, a rainbow-colored light flashed and Cloud attacked once more. 
Surprisingly, its originally huge body shrank down to just 600 meters long. As its body shrank, its aura became even more condensed. Boom. Cloud's wings slashed into the Ghost General's club. A heaven-shaking explosion erupted, and Cloud was sent flying hundreds of miles away. In terms of power, it still wasn't on the Ghost General's level, but as a mighty ancient beast, it was also very powerful. Even though it was sent flying, it wasn't injured. Its runes lit up, and it shot back once more. Cloud now displayed extremely shocking combat power. It had a strong physical body, sharp claws, and was extremely fast. It actually managed to block Gui Yan. It's too bad that Cloud has just advanced to the peak of the ninth rank and isn't used to its power yet. It can only really use a third of its power. Otherwise, even if it couldn't win, it definitely wouldn't lose, said Long Chen regretfully. Taking advantage of this time, he focused on recovering. Fortunately, although he had used the spiritual Yuan in his immortal platforms, he had managed to retain just the slightest bit of energy in each of them, making it so they didn't shut down. With everyone healing him, he slowly recovered. Boom. Cloud was blown back once more. This time, its wings had been injured and were bleeding, but Cloud continued to attack crazily. From the start, it didn't use its innate devouring divine ability. Its intuition said that if it swallowed this ghost general, it would pose a fatal danger to it. So it only continued to fight it with brute force. Long Chen saw that Cloud couldn't hold on much longer. Ji Yui Yan had devoured the essence of over a thousand of the corrupt path's disciples, allowing his ghost general to recover to almost 50%. That was something he hadn't expected. Everyone, sorry, but you're too slow. I'll be taking your energy for myself, said Long Chen apologetically. It's fine. It'd be best if you could take it all said Mu Kingsuan. The battle had not reached its finale. Whether it was the Dragon Blood Warriors or the Corrupt Soul Transformation Experts, they had become completely exhausted. Whether or not he could stop Gui Yan would determine how many of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples would survive. They also wanted to give all their energy to Long Chen, but although they had an ocean's worth of energy, they didn't have a channel that could carry an ocean, so they were helpless. Then I won't stand on courtesy buzz. Long Chen's divine ring lit up and began to rapidly revolve. Mu Kingsuan and the others suddenly felt their spiritual yuan pouring toward Long Chen rapidly. Previously, their spiritual yuan had been pouring into him bit by bit. But now Long Chen was like a whale inhaling water. Their spiritual yuan rapidly dropped. In just a few breaths, their spiritual yuan was sucked dry. They were now pale and tottering. Many thanks. Be careful, Long Chen sensed that he had recovered 30% of his spiritual yuan. He supposed this was to be expected from the reserves of a wood cultivator's spiritual yuan. They had dozens of times more spiritual yuan than an ordinary cultivator. Boom. Cloud was sent flying by the ghost general once again. Other than a life star expert, no one else could stop the ghost general. Even Wild was sent flying with a single attack. Damn animal. Just die. Gui Yan was infuriated at being entangled by Cloud. That made it so he couldn't attack Long Chen. Finally seeing an opportunity to push Cloud to desperate straits. His ghost general's club lit up and smashed down. Cloud had just been blown back by the ghost general's previous attack. And its back was facing down. If this sudden attack landed, even with its tough body, it would be heavily injured. Fuck off. Have I been giving you too much face? Boom. A huge cauldron smashed down at the ghost general's head. It was sent flying. It tumbled across the ground, digging a long ditch. With the blazing dragon cauldron in his hand, divine ring behind him, four stars in his eyes, and green scales covering his body, the battle god had been revived. Good job, Cloud. Go help Meng Chi. Leave this skeleton monstrosity to me. Long Chen gave Cloud some praise before he suddenly shot out like a bolt of lightning at Gui Yan. Exploding flame arrow. Long Chen put away the cauldron and formed hand seals. A violet flame arrow shot toward Gui Yan. Gui Yan's expression changed. What he was most worried about was Long Chen's flames. He flashed to the side, dodging the arrow. Idiot. I already said it was an exploding flame arrow. Dodging is useless, sneered Long Chen. 
Long Chen had only just finished speaking when the arrow exploded, filling the space around it with violet flames. It instantly devoured the ghost general. Fuck. Ji Yuai Yan roared. These flames were practically a nightmare to him. It was like he was a scarecrow trying to avoid sparks. But there was nowhere to run. The ghost general's body suddenly trembled as all its energy began to gather in its head. A terrifying aura locked onto Long Chen. Ji Yuai Yan was actually using that terrifying move again. Idiot. Don't use the same move in front of me twice. Long Chen suddenly shot forward. It was like he had teleported. When he reappeared, he was beside the skeleton's head, and he smashed the pot at the sphere condensing in its mouth. Boom. When the pot smashed the sphere, a mass of rust fell from the pot, shattering the sphere. In that instant, the rune sending energy to it suddenly began to swell. Long Chen's heart shook and he hastily fled. Boom. He had gotten less than 300 meters away when the explosion occurred. Long Chen felt like a huge hammer had struck him in the back, and he vomited a mouthful of blood. He was blown away by a terrifying chi wave, feeling like his body was about to fall apart. Chapter 1300 Underworld Soul Ghost Curse Life Devouring Blood Right Translator Born to be having its powerful attack be interrupted by Long Chen caused a huge backlash. That violent power had nowhere to go, so it exploded. Every move had its weaknesses and ultimate moves had especially obvious weaknesses. That was that they required a long time to activate and were easy to interrupt. Before you used such a move, you would always have to properly calculate the distance, space, your opponent's reaction speed, and various other criteria. In a fight in the air where Long Chen had been chased down miserably, the initiative had been completely in Ji Yuai Yan's hands. Most importantly, Long Chen had never seen that magical art before and hadn't known about its cast time or what it did. It was unknown whether Ji Yuai Yan had been smashed dizzy by Long Chen's previous attack, but seeing Long Chen use the soul devouring violet flames, he thought he was going to use Starfall again in a head on exchange. In his opinion, the worst case was just killing some more of the corrupt path's disciples to replenish his energy. It was a nice plan. But Long Chen hadn't acted according to his expectations. He directly interrupted his move with the pot. However, Long Chen hadn't thought the backlash would be so terrifying. The entire ghost general exploded, almost taking him with it. The ghost general had disappeared, and surprisingly, Ji Yuai Yan hadn't died from the explosion. However, he had completely used up his heavenly Tao energy. His remaining heavenly Tao energy had been exhausted to protect himself just now. But even so, he was hacking up blood along with broken pieces of his internal organs. Time for you to get going. Long Chen now flew back, and the blazing dragon cauldron raised high in the air. Ji Yuai Yan was extremely powerful. If it hadn't been for the soul devouring violet flame suppressing the ghost general, Long Chen wouldn't have managed to defeat him. Watch out. Suddenly. The seventh boss's cry rang out. Long Chen felt a chill in his back, and a sensation of death welled up within him. Without hesitation, he tossed the blazing dragon cauldron backward instead of a Gui Yan, and his boots lit up, making him vanish like a wisp of smoke. Boom. The blazing dragon cauldron was sent flying by a ray of sword chi. That sword chi pierced across the battlefield in an instant, creating a ditch that spread into the horizon. It's a life star expert. Long Chen's heart shook. That sword Chi had just barely missed him. If he had been struck, he'd definitely have been killed. Looking into the distance, he saw a life star expert escape their battlefield and come toward him. That corrupt life star expert could tell that winning today was an impossibility. Ji Yuai Yan had already been defeated, and Long Chen was even trying to capture him alive. Right now, the only way to reverse the tide was to kill Long Chen. If they could kill him, their mission this time wouldn't count as a complete failure. So the corrupt life star experts had secretly colluded to let one of them get away while the others went all out to block Boss Bao and the others. However, his chance to attack was very short. You shameless thing, who's afraid of who? Long Chen suddenly took out a small bell. With a flick of his finger, it shot over at that life star expert. The life star expert was first dumbfounded, then his expression suddenly changed, and he turned to flee. 
That was because he had suddenly noticed that the bell was an ancestral item. Explode unfortunately, he had reacted too late. When the ancestral item approached him, its body suddenly grew to 3,000 meters, and it exploded. The Life Star expert had only gotten a mile away when it exploded. That was still right in the core of the explosion. He immediately vanished without a trace, with even his Yuan spirit annihilated. Shameless old thing, I have 10,000 ancestral items right here. If you have gods, the rest of you can come try me, roared Long Chen. In truth, he was incredibly aggrieved. This time, he had managed to get eight ancestral items from Devil Spirit Mountain. But now, he had detonated two of them. Because he had played around way too much in Devil Spirit Mountain, he was sure those creatures had memorized his aura. If he entered again, he would just be courting death. So this had probably been his last chance to get rich. To say that losing two of his precious treasures didn't hurt was nonsense. Originally, he had brought eight ancestral items, which could be perfectly divided between Meng Qi, Tang Wan'er, Yu Zifeng, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Wild. But now the numbers were off. Now it had become six split between eight, making him clench his teeth. With a furious roar, he once more charged at Ji Yuai Yan. A life star expert had fallen, and not to another life star expert, but to a foundation forging disciple. Or perhaps it should be said that he had died to Long Chen's wealth. An ancestral item was something not even every life star expert was qualified to possess. If a life star expert was in possession of such a thing, it would normally be their family or their power's inherited treasure, something to be viewed as precious as their life. Just the fact that Long Chen had detonated an ancestral item when fighting the Pill Tower and ancient races experts had made others feel pain. Who would have thought he was actually capable of making an ancestral item detonate? A tiny, insignificant foundation forging disciple was actually able to subdue terrifying ancestral items and order them to explode. This completely toppled the cultivation world's understanding. Now all the corrupt experts felt a chill when they looked at Long Chen. He was a monster. When Long Chen turned his attention to Ji Yuai Yan, he saw that Ji Yuai Yan was already running. The direction he was going was where the corrupt god skull was facing off against the reincarnation mirror. This is the prestige of your corrupt path? After bragging so much, you turn tail and flee? Is hitting yourself in the face like this fun? Shouted Long Chen as he chased. He knew that he had an absolute advantage now. Ji Yuai Yan's injuries were far worse than his after the explosion of his ghost general. This was his best opportunity to kill him. Bastard. Ji Yuai Yan clenched his teeth. But he didn't dare to pause. His body was practically about to collapse. If he hadn't had heavenly Tao energy to protect himself, he'd have already died. Now. He didn't have the power to continue fighting. Although he knew that Long Chen was also spent, Long Chen could still kill him. That made him feel endless fury. This defeat of his made him sullen. He had just been a bit careless. Otherwise, he definitely would have won. However, in the end, he had lost. Ji Yuai Yan was going as fast as he could, but Long Chen was even faster than him. Ji Yuai Yan suddenly tossed a blood red bead at Long Chen. Explode the beat exploded, transforming into a barrier that trapped Long Chen. Long Chen felt like he was moving in the water. The space around him had become harder to move in. He also began to hear countless shrieks and wails that were coming right beside his ears. Raging flame protection Long Chen's violet flames covered his body, and the barrier was incinerated. But due to this, the distance between him and Ji Yuai Yan had increased. Long Chen was about to chase when a ray of light shot out of Ji Yuai Yan's body and connected to the corrupt god skull. He suddenly turned into a ray of light and appeared beside the dwarf. Everyone retreat. The dwarf's expression was extremely gloomy. He finally gave this helpless order. All the corrupt experts were delighted and rushed over. As long as they entered the domain of the corrupt god skull, they could be transported from within it. Then they would be completely safe. Do not chase cornered enemies. The Dragonblood Legion was fiercely chasing when Long Chen gave out the order for them to stop. The corrupt path's losses were immense. Of over 500 soul transformation experts, only 70 remained. As for the 30,000 foundation forging disciples they had brought, 
less than 5,000 remained. The Life Star experts also flew over, all of them gathered by the corrupt god Skull. Li Xiangxuan merely watched calmly. He didn't stop them. The Zhuangshan Dao sect side gathered around the reincarnation mirror. Although it looked like the battle had ended, the situation on a battlefield could change in an instant. They couldn't be careless. Ji Yui Yan stood by the dwarf's side, icily staring at Long Chen, clenching his teeth. He suddenly stabbed his own forehead with his finger, causing his blood to splash. What do you think you're doing? The dwarf was shocked at Ji Yui Yan's actions. So many have already died. So why bother with the rest? Underworld Soul Ghost Curse. Life Devouring Blood Right. A vicious smile appeared on Ji Yui Yan's face. His life aura began to weaken to the point that it looked like it might vanish at any moment. A mixed black and blood colored rune appeared in his hand, and with a wave, it began to spread. Black ripples instantly spread, and whether it was corrupt foundation forging disciples or soul transformation experts, their bodies all stiffened and they fell to the ground, lifeless. Even the life star experts shook. They instantly aged a great deal, as if their vitality had been stripped away. Although they didn't die, they were now filled with fury. Long Chen, run. Li Xiangxuan's expression suddenly changed, forming hand seals. He unleashed the might of the reincarnation mirror fully, but a ruthless light also flashed in the dwarf's eyes, and he slammed himself in the chest with his palm, coughing up three large mouthfuls of blood that landed on the corrupt god's skull. It lit up, blocking the reincarnation mirror's actions. Suddenly, a huge net formed in the air enveloping all of heaven and earth. Long Chen's body turned cold as this huge net instantly shrank around him. Double dragon destruction that strange attack had already locked onto Long Chen, and there was nowhere for him to run. He unleashed a counterattack, but he was shocked to find that the two dragons simply went through the net as if it didn't exist. Before he could do anything else, the black net wrapped around his body and vanished. An image of a black net appeared on his forehead. Ha ha ha. Have a good life with my underworld soul ghost curse. No one can save you now. Ji Yui Yan laughed. But before he could say any more, he collapsed. The dwarf activated the corrupt god's skull, and space suddenly trembled. The corrupt path vanished from their sight. 